seven. And we'll start with the pledge to the flag. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag, the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America, America. And, and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice for all. Okay. Right. Okay. So changes slash additions to the agenda. Um, we are going to skip financials because um, Ed wasn't able to pull them together yet because he was out of town and we didn't directly communicate. Um, and we went through them last week, last month. So correct. Hopefully, and he did say it has not changed much. Okay. So you he, still have a surplus. That's so. what I was. I was hoping right. to have some type of feel. Right. <laughs> so we're still, still okay. Surplus. There's we're no still disaster. Okay. <laughs> he said no. We're okay. I guess we just covered that one. But okay. So we'll keep going with changes. Um, so we're switching results of the forum to. Um, uh, security discussion um, because that was partially what the forum was about um, and we for other reasons have not had a chance to process the forum um, we have some appointments resignations a draft schedule um, a policy discussion um, and then board retreat scheduling so um, and we don't have all those re resignations on there like uh, there right, but we have them you like Nick Wolf uh, you got some more I have mm -hmm. I have do you want to yep and I yeah. have an additional oh, that's a firm one thing. Did, the, did Diane get you the copies of those I have we have a bunch of them but we're almost done. what we have here is Devin Agate yep Leah Eastman Kathleen Grady. Kathleen Grady. Yep. So we have we have yeah. Nick Wolf. I have Nick's and we I. We just have, got one today, actually. And I right? have another one. Oh. So do you want? You can say who it is. Interesting. Uh, well, I can read it out loud. Well, we'll go. Yeah, we'll do it when we get there. We'll do there. it yeah. when we get there. Okay. We'll, we'll leave us in suspense. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to happen soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. Um, okay. So, uh, are there any motions to approve the minutes of April twenty second? So moved. Um, Sarah or Beth, do we have a second? Oh, sorry, second. <laughs> second. Okay. Sarah's busy. Sarah, I'm to trying to write. It. <laughs> it's hard to write and second at the same time. I know. Um, okay. Uh, so, is there any discussion of the minutes? No. Look good to me. Okay. Yeah, they were pretty thorough. Um, okay. So, all those in favor of approving the minutes of April 22nd, please say aye. Roll, and you have to do roll. Oh, call. I have to do roll call. Never mind. So, um, Sarah. So I w so let's see. I'll just say a so name. Just put your and initial. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sarah, okay. Sarah. Yes. All right. Beth Roy. Aye. Scott Richardson. Aye. Nikki. Aye. Me. Aye. Okay. Okay. Done. Four zero. zero. Good. Um, because we have somebody on the phone. We oh. do not have public today, but we had a lot of public at the forum, and I thought that that was the forum. <laughs> the forum. Okay. Um, the forum, and I thought that that was fantastic. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, maybe we'll move into, um, we'll start with financials because we apparently still have a surplus. And yes, you do. That's the end. I of did check discussion. that today before I came. Thank you. <laughs> so I, was I, I, knew you'd wanna, I knew you'd want to know that. Well, I was worried with all of the right. spending in the last right. um, month. Um, no, what's, what's the spending in the last month? Um, <clears throat> the front door. Yeah, the front door. Um, yeah, and so the that's security, security stuff. Yeah, so. um, uh, so then we'll move on um, and talk about the forum. Uh, we began the forum. Um, were all of us, Scott? You were. Yes, yeah. you were. Yeah, yeah. Everybody everybody I think there. everybody right. was here. Yeah. Everybody so was um, I thought it was a really good conversation, um, yeah. and uh, I'm really glad that we had it. Um, I talked to Christine last week, and she's been a little busy this month and has not been able to process the results yet. Yeah, um, I haven't looked at them. <laughs> yeah, and since um, we have them on the white chart paper, right? Yeah. yeah. How do you there want? Do you want them typed up? Do you want me to ask Linda to type up the results in a document of some sort? Would that be helpful? That might be good to have them in a. In a I, um, yeah. Or do we want to look at them at our retreat? I uh, just I can bring the. I what do you think? I Start feel like we can look at them on the retreat just, and I'll just share them here right now. Put the put the chart paper get, get up. Some chart paper up. Get, get a few items. Themes. Okay. Yeah, because okay. I don't think that's I think it would just be a waste of time. Oh, okay, to that's fine. The only thing I'm thinking is she might think it's six thirty. That because like the one that I was in, we used for every new group that came in, we had a different chart Saturday paper, and so started. some of the same ideas might have come up twice. So combining yeah. it into oh, one document might 
help us focus more. They were they pretty much said the same thing. Well, that's what I mean. If you've got, right. but I mean we so, can do that at the yeah. retreat too. But if you if you want yeah. to do some of that before the retreat, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I think if we can. If something's mentioned, or, or you could yeah. down mention twice. But so. to have Linda do that ahead of time so that we're not, you know, wasting yeah, our time doing good. that I think there. That'd be good. Depends okay. on how much time. I'm good either way. Okay. All right. I'll see if she can get to it. Um, I think it was really great for the forum and like a great learning experience. So just said it to you, What level of detail we the, the community really wants? Yeah. Like yep. Yeah. So it was really great learning for us. Yeah, that was a really good sort of focus group in the in like what made what makes people feel better, what makes people <laughs> not what's too much information. I don't know. It was it was interesting. I hope I hope it was for we have for a list yeah. of the well. Yeah, that's great. Who do we have? What? We have a list of the participants. I don't think I don't we think so. Did we take attendance? We did that. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's something should've we should do. It would have been nice that. to get back to people. Yeah, we probably can. Recreate I could it recreate it. Yeah. Pretty, yeah, I think I can sort of picture the yeah. room. And <laughs> And you know every you people you folks know everybody. Well, I I would add that I don't want to put something in Beth's um, mouth, but I think what she's saying, and I would agree with, is that it was a learning for the board, uh -huh. as yeah. well as um, I think that the community appreciated it quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I definitely felt at home like within a day or so that there's something we could take away from oh, yeah. besides what was said. As far as we could learn from the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and <coughs> clearly, that process is more um, <coughs> open for the public than board meetings. Yeah, <laughs> they yeah. feel more. Yeah, part of it. Yep. Um, more invited. It, I think it's good practice to do it at least once a year. If I not, so too. You know. Mm -hmm. It sounds like so having we'll move a little on. structure, though, I think was yeah. good. That I yes. think we just said, come and talk about whatever you want to talk right. about. No, uh, yeah. Uh, having the specific things, mm -hmm. I, I don't. I think that helped mm -hmm. to narrow it a bit. Mm -hmm. Did. Um, so, uh, moving on. So, part of the um, forum discussion was um, the security. Security. I keep wanting to call it policing. It's security issues. <laughs> it changed. No, I know. I need to. I don't <laughs> want to say that word, but I don't. <laughs> I'm a um, I can't come up with another one. Um, so some of the security issues. So the door lock is in almost progress. In place. It's almost in place. Yeah. It's not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet. <laughs> but almost. <laughs> I've learned. We have a. a as the locksmith would call it, a pieced together system right now. So he's, mm -hmm. yeah, so updating. He's, working he's on updating, that. yeah. Okay, okay. yeah. Oh, but no, it I will have the capability to um, lock down with your phone. Oh, wow. wow. Like Christine yeah. will be able to lock down. So this is a big upgrade. Fantastic. This isn't oh. just the door. Lock the okay. front, yeah, I mean, we'll be able to lock the front door with yep. our phones. Um, and eventually the cameras will tie in and we'll be able to see, which we talked about with Jim, mm -hmm. and we'll be able to see who's there. Who's there. Yeah. Yep. So. Who was that just talking? Christine. It was just me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else there? Brittany's here. Oh, yeah. Um, sorry. Brittany. We'll go around the table. So the farthest <laughs> away voices are Christine and Diane. And then Brittany, David, and then myself, Scott, Sarah, and then Diane. That's so what we got. <laughs> it's going to be the same system at all the schools in the SU. We're all going to have the same yeah, system. Yeah, and I think so, he was using yeah. the, uh, Jim was using this opportunity to do some of those upgrades yep. so that we just get it all done at once. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. yeah. And so, I didn't. What we learned at the retreat, and I didn't know this was in the works, was the. I guess I'd be interested in hearing David when we get to your report about how the new phone system here might be mm -hmm. part of this, mm -hmm. or maybe it's mm -hmm. not, but um, I won't get us off track right now. I think that one thing I wanted to say about, if this is the forum discussion, um, I, I didn't come away a few days later like convinced that we had s heard from all the voices in the community. Agreed. And I'm not sure how you would know you had so I'm, on a, I'm not an expert in that, but the group that Sarah and I um, uh, spoke with, the, um, there were similar themes as the three groups mm -hmm. rotated through. Yeah. 
and so I, I just wasn't sure it was holistic um, a holistic view of the community I don't know how you if you would uh, although I mean I think the fact that the themes were consistent on the other hand does you know show we were hearing the same things from mm -hmm. different people mm -hmm. um, but but yeah, absolutely, that's, that's I mean, its own significance for sure yeah yeah but uh, but absolutely I mean I think I think you always get the people who can show up, right? right? Mm -hmm. The people right. who, sure. um, yeah, the people who, who mm -hmm. want to, who the people who feel comfortable mm -hmm. in school settings, who feel like right. they'll be listened to when they talk. I mean, I think you always get a exactly. skewed, um, yeah. a skewed sample. So anything you know? in the future that we could, if we could accomplish, any, I mean, I'm, what are the things that come up when you talk about this is maybe changing times or settings? Or, and just and more communication, um, and that was quite um, regimented, I guess. Or you know, just in planning for it, it had, and then it had the immediate, the immediate um, subject matter that, <coughs> was, that was dealt with early in the fall. Um, you know, so it was it was formal in that way, and I keep. I, I keep coming back to, in my own mind, like an interest in like just being there to listen at anything else that happens. Like, it sounds silly, but like a school board member at a desk at a Heartland community breakfast, and it's just like a little sign up that says, tell me what you think, mm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, just another time of day, another place in town, and not try to make any one too significant. That's the thing I, that I worry about. Doing something very formal once a year puts an awful lot of emphasis on that mm -hmm. in data. Yeah. It could maybe, be. Maybe undue emphasis. It could be like, um, <clears throat> and I just think of, our, of the technology we have. It could be something that's connected to the weekly newsletter, like um, a Google something. form or something where yeah. you can just click and make yeah. a suggestion, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super. Something yeah. comes up. Yeah, like feedback. I like that idea. That That's a great yeah. idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it could, you know, and there could, we could rotate the responsibility <coughs> of reading it, and looking at reading it. Yep. and collating, so mm -hmm. that it, it doesn't become a, a big extra job yeah. for any one person. Yeah. But um, that's a that's a really good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. I like that. I think we should do that. So yeah. too. <laughs> great. Like, like off the lights or something like that. Say what? Like coffee at Mike's or something like that, even. Yeah, coffee at Mike's. Yeah. You know, yeah. like just to say, we're going to be here. Come on in. It's, my guess is, I don't, there may not be a lot of people that specifically show up for it, but there's so many people in and out. Mm, that's true. You know, a little sign. Tell yeah. us what you think. Yeah. Yeah. Even if it's just a couple of us hanging out for a little bit. Saturday morning coffee. Yep, Mike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the preschool coffee <laughs> <laughs> or snack time after mm -hmm. school is a big mm -hmm. at Mike's yeah yes oh there's a uh, yeah yeah we'll just stop there <laughs> yeah. all the kids I mean, <laughs> um, you can see just about anybody you need to connect with <laughs> um, so one of the things that we talked about was security and I know that you and David we had did. a follow-up meeting yep. yes we did um, and I think um, David and Christine learned some um, information about our options going forward, but we really need to get the community input mm -hmm. um, on, on w how they feel about security, what we want to do about future security, and um, mm -hmm. um, so I think we need to schedule a mm -hmm. um, security forum. Um, yeah, I think, think so. Because so. I think you need to get that feedback. Oh, I think <coughs> yeah. we have some urgency on scheduling that. Because yeah. we need to have that we're hoping over the summer, yeah, that we have this, right, that yeah. we talked yeah. about. It would be nice, whatever, if, well, if we were going to do something, we'd be able to kick it off in the fall, right? right. So exactly. that we had it yeah. ready so to I go. think we right. need to. Um, could, could we co-host it with the select board, though? I mean, I think, I feel like it needs to be, right from the beginning, very much a, a partnership and, a, you know, it's not. Uh, yeah. It's not just our problem. I don't. I mean, there may be reasons not to do that, but um, that's my just well, my initial. Christine, we talked a lot about we that. We did. The suggestion was to certainly invite them. 
Mm -hmm. um, uh, we met with Chief Sampson from Windsor PD. He's willing to come and, and do a little presentation on what an SRO program is, what it isn't. Um, we talked about inviting maybe Tiffany or Jen, who ha have an SRO and and the SRO, just so just so um, the community is aware, because mm -hmm. I think there is misinformation. Bring the current that. SRO with us so that um, you can talk a little bit. What we learned was, if that's the direction we go, or that the town wants to go, or the community wants to go, it it's really Heartland Elementary School then has access to Windsor PD. I mean, if we had a problem, seven, we basically. would call them. Um, they would do the follow-up investigation um, involved in any any situation that we needed. So it's it's almost more than an SRO. Really, is that right. is that what your take was, David? But it would be the town that would have to contract with them, right? Because no, we're no, not no, a municipal no. Well, entity. that's interesting. Yes, we are. That's what we thought originally, but no. the truth is because police in Vermont have jurisdiction everywhere that as long as it's a municipality and a school district's a municipality contracting with them and, and you have a memorandum of agreement for what he said, police services that would include an SRO, that's how you'd yeah. word it, that it could be the school only. I mean, the problem with that is, you know, you'd have, you know, you, you I, if I understood it right, and correct me if I'm wrong, that it really depends on how much time did you get the sense that if we, if the school did it alone, mm -hmm. did it you would be school hours. It would be school hours, and it would right. be for school purposes. Right. It wouldn't right. be for any other reason. So you couldn't, if somebody backed right. into a mailbox, right? They're not going to touch it. Oh right. yeah, right. If somebody breaks into a house, they're not going to touch right. it. Right. Right. But if there's a break in here, even after school hours, right. I got the sense they would yeah. investigate that because yeah. it was school related. Yeah. I think the idea of. Um, uh, inviting the select board is really important. Um, I mm -hmm. don't think the select board's ready to move on anything, and I think we want to have something in place by September. That's I totally, I totally agree. We want to have something in place by September. I'm, I mean, I think there is community mm -hmm. right. sentiment behind right. this not coming out of the school budget, though. I think yeah. people, I think I've heard a lot of people say like, "That's a teacher. Why should we have to yeah. pay for yeah. policing?" and not have a teacher when this is public safety. This is a town expense. Um, you know, so I think... And I the th school is part of the community. Absolutely. And the town. Right. I mean, if there had been a security incident at the library, at one of the churches, right. anywhere else, we would be having a community conversation about... about that. Do right. we have enough policing in town? Right. Um, and is our town safe? Um, I think I, that... So I would say that an absolute definite that we would need to have some sort of community involvement. As an individual that had a heroin bus uh, out a mile from their house, I think I think it's a huge, huge, huge concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, I, I guess the way I'm seeing it is that <coughs> the school is going to have to lead. Yeah, it's I'm, absolutely. Yeah, I'm seeing that yeah. too. And yes. so I think that we need to make sure that the select board knows that we're having this discussion and strongly invite them and to come. Right. And and there are a no, there are over a hundred people I think who are yeah. very you know concerned about this. Yeah. And I mean, there's six hundred people, right? If just the parents yeah. of the kids in this yes. building, mm -hmm. that's right. six hundred exactly. people who are motivated and mm -hmm. want something to happen. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I think people understand that we may not be able to turn on a dime, so there may be some temporary solution. Right. Yes. Right. It may involve right. the right. school, you know, the school right. and the town partnering to, to do something until mm -hmm. we can put something in place. So I yep. think I think it's finding that not getting locked into something. Right. But well, providing mm -hmm. security. David, as David a, expected when he talked with us, David said that um, <coughs> He fully expected that if the school sponsored this forum, that within 10 minutes it would turn to community community policing and, yeah. and, and the protection of the entire community. And how incompatible, because he agrees with this, and the chief admitted this, and he's not, you know, he's not selling anything from the Windsor Police Department. And, you know, he mentioned there are other police departments, but he really believes in more of this idea of community-wide or county-wide 
right. police, <laughs> you know, and that's not the mission of the state police. Oh yeah, they're 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 an investigating agency around high level crimes, mm -hmm. and they provide road patrol, right? That that's mm -hmm. what they do, and it's just not their mission to do this kind of policing. And and I think that's what the community has to understand. I think the real awakening for David was that when we laid the numbers out there, that with just a little bit of help from the school, it, it would be more police servicing for probably less than what the town's spending right now on the state police contract. But I think that's got to come from the community, you know, and yeah, the community's yeah. got to say, you know, what what do they, you know, what do they, they want, want to do? Yeah, so, right. I guess I, I, my what I would interject is. Um, I think I'm feeling that there, I'm hearing a lot of um, desire to lead, but at the same time saying we need to go with the community. And I'm just, I'm going to step out to the side a little bit and say we should lead and we should lead. And it doesn't, it's not so important to me that um, whether or not it comes out of the school budget in the short term. I think I don't know how we could possibly not pay for a service that started when we want it to and not have it not have to wait mm -hmm. yeah I mean I think okay. we really need to assert yeah. that what we want mm -hmm. and whether or not the community is ready to do that before next town meeting day for instance I don't I don't know if they, but I mean either way can. we're gonna need we're gonna need huge buy-in because if we add 50 or sixty thousand dollars to the school budget mm -hmm. We, we're not we can't take away fifty or sixty thousand dollars somewhere else right so we have to get buy-in from the town that like everybody understands that your school taxes are going to go high we may hit the the cap we right. may we may get the penalty because we're doing this yeah. mm -hmm. and everyone in town has to be okay with that and be willing to vote for the school budget because otherwise well, that's why they need to be there right yeah. so we, right. yeah I mean we need to well, build I guess I would the turn, support so that we can lead turn that Sarah in that yeah, it's up to us to to gain that support. Absolutely, but, but certain it, it won't we, happen. We have to be firm in, in our objectives in terms I of what you yeah, think you I, need. I right. totally agree right. with you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we, we're not saying what, what yeah. do you want. We're saying here are the different ways to do it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, but here's what we need, and we need to get to this, and there are some different ways to do it. Just tell us how you want to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know about that. That's where I, when you, there's little differences in what I, I don't, I'm not interested necessarily in all the time. I think the school board can act on something like this. I mean, for what we need, first of all, is that is, is to ensure that something happens in the fall. And, you know, and, and, that, and a program like this would, would evolve, evolve over time. And so with that <coughs> understanding, like, if we get going in the fall, it, may, um, it might be our best foot forward. I mean, ha can we really have a forum between now and when you need to? I mean, this is a hiring process to this, right? Yeah, there is. I mean, yeah. yeah. So it can't. You can't just tell the Windsor Police Department you want an SRO sometime in August or. Well, no, I think we would have to. We, we did talk about the time. We did. He, he, need, he would yeah. need to know yeah. before, like August first. I mean, he, he could get something. Okay, a month within a month. He needs yeah. a month out. Yeah. What he's yeah. got right now is he, he we Windsor, or I guess what we'll call next year the Mount of Scutney School District shares a police officer with the town of Windsor, so we get about fifty percent of that service. Um, but he's at the school a lot. Uh, but he could be called to something in the town or something in school. What, what, what the, chief, the chief told us, and again, Christine, correct mm -hmm. me if you're wrong, if, if Hartland came on board with that just as a school, then he would have a, a, a police officer dedicated, a full-time police officer dedicated. And he also said that when I say a police officer <coughs> dedicated, I also mean, because we have three on during the day, so if the SRO at Windsor is taking care of something, you're going to get another, and something happens, you're going to get another police right, officer right. at Hartland. Yeah. In other words, you've got full coverage yep. with that partnership with, right. with, with Windsor and Hartland. Yeah. And that, 
I took me a while to get my head around that, but I, I think that's so what it's not is. like there would be somebody in the building not full 20, time, no, no. correct? Twenty four seven. Would it would be, but you would determine that. You when, would, because right. yeah, because that's like, oh, we really need somebody for this period in the morning, morning. right? Exactly. Yes. Like, but we like in the morning. We like a couple hours in the morning yeah. to have a yep. a presence <laughs> and a police car outside. That that helps, but. That also could, I mean, I think the reason the chief brought that up is that <clears throat> that might allay some of the fears that you're not going to have every day, all day long, right. uh, an off a, a, a uniformed officer with, right. a, with, a, with a gun and all that stuff. You're going to determine those times. We've got a tough, like you said, meeting with a parent mm -hmm. or, yep. you know, and, and so they'd be around at those times. Right, right. Um, but it sounds like there's a lot of flexibility in what, he would provide for yeah. that for that fee, and da I think David really was some, you know, Im impressed. Now, if the town wanted to come in yep. with the school, then it would be more like the Windsor arrangement. You'd have police services 24/7 in the town, and part of that would be a presence in this building of that police officer for whatever time right. Brittany and yes. and Christine decided they needed it. So it just depends on who you're partnering with, right? Yep. But in terms of the immediacy, if you wanted to, if we wanted to go, and I understand the cost piece, which is why the town has to weigh in on this, but um, you know, I, I, I think, you know, we, we don't we don't necessarily have to wait for the town. I thought originally we did because of jurisdiction. Yeah, and, I do too. But we don't. As long as he's got the memorandum of agreement with Right. the school district then he considers that a contract and, yep. and he dedicates a police officer to the building i think that we need to but have we have to explain that clearly yeah we at have a forum. some we have a lot of parents who really feel strongly about the sro position um and are strongly against it and i think we need to explain because to me this sounds different from sros in other states and um and he I said that yeah, like this is a different situation right. than what you see nationwide. Yep. Right. Um, he said this and community SRO. I think we SRO. want a different model. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he said so SROs in the big city. That, that's where you know that he said he he feels that's what happens is the community, you know, yeah. sees guns and metal detectors and kids yeah. getting put up against lockers. And he said rural rural SRO is completely different. You decide what times you want them here. Mm -hmm. You decide what role you want them to play. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, that I think that's why it would be great to get to get some more specific information mm -hmm. um, and be able to to say here's what here's what the SRO at you know right. another yeah let's, and that's like, let's look at other K eight yeah. schools in Vermont and so and are there other K eight schools that have SROs yeah what do they look like what's their experience been mm -hmm. talk to some parents and teachers some, you know um, and well, then I think if we were to do a forum and have um, Jen Tiffany and Tiffany Jen. there. They're talking yep. about the SRO experience that we would have. Right. Yes. Um, In Jen's case. Yeah. Although that is a high, it is a high school, so it's a little. I mean, yeah. I feel like there's a little. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there must be some other. There must be yeah. at least one. Although other Albert, Bridges Albert Bridges K six, and there yeah. was a lot of resistance. They have yeah. Yes. And, but they have an SRO access. That would be access. very. Yep. I think that, that would be. That would be helpful. Yeah, I think having both of them there <coughs> would give the highlight of but what we could check we around need. too. Maybe there are other kids I mean, that could, have. Yeah, we could definitely do the research. Mm -hmm. um, I do feel yeah. like we're a little tight on time. And, and then there are surrounding towns that have you different arrangements that have. You know, Plainfield's the one that I did a little research on. Are there any other kids? They, you know, they have a town police force, and they have officers who. They don't have SROs, right. but they have officers who are actively involved with the school and spend mm -hmm. a certain number right. of hours. But it's very integrated with the town, and mm -hmm. so that's another option. I mean, there there are different options, yeah. and I think in a forum we could present all of the options. Right. So, what are we about. thinking date wise? Well, so Christine and Do I talked last week. We want to look at that week. now. Do you want to look at that now or calendars? Yeah, we yeah. can look at calendars. Yeah. Um, uh, the chief said he's away the end of July, but any time in. Yep. June I or June. early July. I think we, we would definitely want to do June or early July anyway. I would say I kind of want to do June. I don't, I mean, I feel like do parents run away immediately after the last day of school or should we so. do the week after? No, I think that's a good earlier timing would be better than waiting until the yeah. heat yeah. of them. So we summer. put our tentative board meeting on the 17th, which is a Monday. Um, on the 17th? Could we do it then? So we all are available that night? We, yeah. <laughs> but 17th is the official board meeting now. It is? Oh, that's right, it is. Wait, what? You sure? Really? 
How did that we happen? We have a meeting scheduled that short. night. How did that she's happen? Short. We penciled that <laughs> in. She knows everything. We were all there discussing. Yeah. Amy, Nikki Amy's, was in, yeah. and um, I thought Amy was. Oh, Nikki was. Oh. And Amy can't do the first Monday of the month. Anymore. Change in Amy McMullen's okay. schedule. Um, and she was so that's bit. an yeah. SU board level meeting. Well, so we have to cancel so our SU, board. So we have to I cancel know, that ours. Was, that's kind of a <laughs> well. I, th I'm going to have to talk to Amy because I, I somehow I, I remember that conversation. I, I didn't mm -hmm. get it in. I'm okay with that. My calendar, and I'm going that the because <laughs> it took a lot are for us to find I'm, I'm, I'm going the 17th, 18th, and 19th. Oh, you are. Oh, but okay. it doesn't mean you know you couldn't go ahead. I mean, what it's, about it's your community and you're getting the community feedback. I mean, I. I mean, uh, I, I want you to be there since yeah. you, <laughs> you, you were at the meeting. You <laughs> folks yeah, on that true. side of the table yeah. have all. Have but I could, I could do something, this. you know, 19th, 20th, 24th, 25th, 26th. I'm gone the week of the 24th to the 28th, okay. um, but that it, you guys could meet without me. No, no, no. I think if we're especially if we're doing the forum, it seems like. Yeah. So how about the 19th or the 20th? 19th or 20th? Um, so there's a Heartland Community Group on the 20th. You don't want to do it that night. What, what is that? That's a... Um, That's the spin-off of the breakfast. Oh, okay. oh. Although... Um, Would that be a good thing to match you? combine with them and somehow do it. Because it would be great to get that all those people... I believe it's the 20th. Where is that? Is that here? So, I mean, there is a different agenda for that meeting. Damon Hall, you're on that one. I'm not on that committee. I, yeah. I go to the other well, one. This is what a lot of what we talk about. Um, so that would not be a good mix, you don't think, Nikki? No, I do. It might be kind of <coughs> hijacking their agenda. I think it's their hijacking agenda. their agenda. Yeah. yeah. Um, what group the is that? That's the... Is, um, there were two groups that... Oh, that's right. Okay. Spin -offs from part of their agenda. That is. We can't do the week before because that's insanity, isn't it? The, the last week of school. The last week of school. Yeah. 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 No, that's yeah. Yeah. I think it's not fair. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there. You're going that whole next week? I mean, let's I'm look. Kind of is it? Do you, you think it is? After like we have the July week. Graduation. Uh, I'm here. Yeah, I'm here all that I think week. you already have people week, taking off work to come to graduation. Yeah, so, Monday but the 8th. I mean, that's the 8th grade, so they're on their way out. I can kind of do that, yes, too. Right? Yeah. You're talking about the week of in July, going into July? The 8th. Second Monday week. the 8th. Second week of July. Just book it now. I've got nothing. <laughs> or the. what about the 1st of July? <laughs> The first uh, yeah, of July. I mean, the first of July might be. People I'm might just be gone. About people people getting might be gone that for a lot of people take that week and off because they get a day off. Yeah. We've so. also we have <coughs> traditionally skipped July for official board meetings. Mm -hmm. Right. We're just kind of taking that month off. So it's wide open then. So, so it should it, it could be. Is now <laughs> Scott and going to start meet meet in July because their meetings are the second Monday. That would be the eighth. Yeah. That's what you're saying, Diane, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder, too, with the 4th being on Wednesday. Thursday, the 4th being Thursday. on a Thursday, would people take Thursday, Friday? What day are they going to take? They're going to take Thursday, Friday. Might they take that next Monday yeah, off, the 8th? Like, so we could hmm, do the 9th. I don't know. The 9th? Yeah, that's... I'd be okay with that. That so looks good to me. Okay with me. Brittany, are you going somewhere? Yeah, I just have, I have, well, I have the collaborative problem solving training the next three days after <coughs> that. But I after that? Yeah. So I should be able to make it work. Well, it's in Boston. It's Where in you Boston, Boston, so I'll just leave early in the morning. Okay. Okay, so we're looking at the ninth. To the ninth. So you're around, you technically are around. The ninth would work for me. Thank okay. you. All right, Beth. Thank you, Beth. Awesome, Beth. <laughs> so, David, you're going to have to check with the I, chief. I, I can do the ninth. But we have to. date on my calendar. So oh. Can somebody send out a, like a reminder of when our board meetings are? Because I feel like I got all messed up with the going into the. So what we do six o'clock or something. Yeah. Um, if I don't send out an email, can you remind me to send out an email? I'm totally happy to do it. I just, uh, <laughs> but it's dependent on if the chief can be there, yeah, Tiffany gonna, I'll, or Jan, right right. and right. Um, the SRO, the officer, um, Chief Sampson said he would come and speak as well. <coughs> so, well, let's um. So let's put it in for the ninth. Okay, let's put it in for the ninth, and then what about the tenth? I'm gone the tenth, but you guys could do it. it. What time on the ninth? And the eighth is a question. We don't know if Scottney's going to meet or not. So right. Yeah. Do you want to um we, we could email talk them, them and, and propose the eighth, ninth, or tenth, and we'll figure out if Scottney's meeting. I'm going to want yeah. me to run those three dates by. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The chief. Those are all good for and me. I will check Beth, are those all good for you? And <clears throat> see 
Yeah. But 10th is not good for you, right? No, okay. but you guys can meet with them. Um, let me check the 8th and the 9th. Let me just check the 10th. Okay. Did you say the 10th is not good for you? It's not good Brittany's for me, away. but I don't need to be there. It's fine. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to just send this to them now and we'll get it. You, you signed up for CPS? Um, the 10th would be Great to Conservation Commission meeting on Wednesdays. Okay. Oh, okay. What time first. are they? After the first. Are they at 7? They are usually like 6 to, uh, okay. yeah, 6.30 to 8.30. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, okay. So you'll let us know what they what you find out. Well, what do I do? Do you want me to give them all three dates? Yeah, let's give them all okay. three dates. Hopefully, okay. hope say we prefer on the ninth. ninth. Yeah, our ninth is our favorite. Ninth's our favorite. <laughs> Eighth or tenth or war. And hopefully, Colleen can make those. We need to decide how we're going. This might be something for the retreat, but how we're going to sort of frame mm -hmm. that discussion, the security forum, and the discussion, and who speaks and who's invited. It seems like it, it could yeah. be the way it's framed is very. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's it's very it's tricky important. to yeah yeah. yeah. Um, um, that's a great agenda item for the retreat. I think. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. To, to craft that. But to we don't have a date that. for that anymore. So no, we don't have a date. Are we <laughs> working on that too tonight? Are we having an outside facilitator? Um, we talked about that and we did that last year. And um, You mean for the retreat? For the, the retreat or the forum? No, not the forum. Oh. We didn't talk about it. So, because I'm just thinking, like, yeah, I think it would be really important that we as board members are there and active listening, but also able to participate some. Yep. And then. Yeah, like, I don't know, like, maybe it's just somebody that does this more regularly than we do could have some insight onto process. You know who does... I mean, I facilitate a lot of meetings, and I'm happy to help out with it, um, but... I don't it should know be somebody outside, though. ...having a board member facilitate it versus somebody that's, like, that neutral person. Nancy Gabriel used to do that. Oh. Right? Yeah. I mean, I, and she no longer lives... Oh, yeah. In, she no Where longer she? lives in Heartland, but she... I don't know has long. connections to Heartland. She has sure. connections to Heartland and know, <coughs> knows enough that I think she wouldn't have, you know, it would be hard to get someone up to speed quickly for something like this. Yeah. And it might, we might not have to get her up to speed so much because she understands, I think, all of the... You're worth asking her. Yeah. yeah. She has a Do good... you know how to get in touch with her? No. I can, <laughs> I am, I think I'm <laughs> Facebook friends with her, so I could probably, I could try that way and, okay. and say. So it's shall I eat? And make myself a note. And, and the chief will certainly her. do a little presentation, right? Didn't he he said he will do a present, little presentation. And he would also have, and, and I'm sure that, uh, you know, Tiffany and mm -hmm. Jen would be willing to do something. <coughs> Beth, do you know Nancy Gabriel? She's reading a bedtime Sorry, story. Doing, doing the dishes. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know Nancy Gabriel? I know her name, but I don't know why I know. Okay. Yeah. So where, where does she work? I I, I think she, she has her work. own consulting business doing yeah. facilitation and she she does this kind of work. But she used to she was on the school board. Yeah. Five okay, five right. years ago maybe? Right. I, re uh, no, she, I replaced her. Yeah. That's right. Nikki replaced okay. Done three, yeah. Two or three years ago. Okay. Both in her house and in her board role. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think the forum would probably start around six? <coughs> yeah, that seems yeah. like a good. Always seems like a good time. Uh oh, that um, we lost. I know, let's just let it go. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's one of the gazillion yeah. phone oh, calls. Oh, somebody's calling health you. insurance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> happens every day. Um, no welcome to the club. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so I think. So we've got tentative dates for the um, security forum, um, and we'll hammer the rest of it out at our retreat. Yep. Um, 
Okay. So we're going to move on to appointments. Does that sound good to everybody? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, oh, hold on. I just had a thought. Can yeah. we talk to, I don't know, the student council or something like that to see if there's some way that we could offer childcare? I think that that's a good... During the form. Yeah. Yeah. I think that would be good. Um, I don't... How do we... Why have we done that before? Um, we asked them and they are willing. We pay a supervisor to help them. Okay. Um, it might be challenging in the summer. That's all yeah. I'm going to say. Yeah. We'll try. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We can certainly try. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, appointments. Yes. Um, is this me, David? Yes. Okay. Uh, so we ahead. have one Thank appointment you. tonight. Just finishing this up. Oh, thanks, Diane. Diane Thank brought you. the um, nurse. <laughs> what did you bring? A resume? Yeah. 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 So this is um, slightly redacted. This is Annette. Annette Jennings. Like the Mueller report. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is a, an RN. She's also um, she is the EPSDT nurse uh, at Weathersfield. So she works. Right she now, knows the she's schools. Um, one day a week with Emily Stevenson as her. Um, each school has one day of um, additional nursing support in the buildings through EPSDT money. So, Annette has been doing that, and she comes highly recommended from Emily and Jean Marie. Um, awesome. For the position. Yeah, we're really excited. She, she was here. Um, she was pretty phenomenal. She was pretty great <laughs> during the interview that we had. She, Deb was not here, and Emily, ste uh, Emily, Annette stepped up to take care of a couple of things we needed her to do as a nurse wow. during the interview. That's amazing. That nice? <laughs> a little That's nosebleed in the office interview. when I went to go <laughs> pick her up to bring her to the interview. She's like, "Hold on, one minute. I'm like, take your time." <laughs> We're like, we do this on purpose. The bleeding child. Yeah. <laughs> no, great. I think she, she, um, all her recommendations. Are, are very strong. She's very positive, willing to um, step up and do all sorts of all sorts of things that are needed. So we're actually really happy to, to be getting her. She'll, she'll be good. Very good. Yeah, she'll right. be good. Yep. And she knows the system. She <coughs> uses um, SNAP already over in Weathersfield. That's the system that, that we use. So she won't need to be brought up to speed on that. She emailed today asking for the calendar. I said, please feel free to reach out to Deb. She's happy to meet with you before the end of the year and help you transition. So, great. Well yeah. done. Yep. So, that's the only that appointment, the only appointment tonight, tonight, but we, we will have, <laughs> we'll have some resignations. All right. Right. So, 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 we will have more appointments. Move to accept, do, we have, do we have to accept our appointment? Yeah. We, you have to accept, yeah. yes. You, you have do. to okay. move so to do we appoint have her. Any um, wants to move to appoint or to accept resignations? Uh, to, uh, appoint. to appoint. To appoint, appoint. as Jennings as the okay. school. Jennings. You have to appoint you professional do. positions. Yeah. You don't have to do that with support staff. Right. Okay. I'll make that motion. Okay, so it's got And I'll second. <clears throat> okay. Um, so we'll do, do a roll call. Do you want to do that again, sir? Oh, no, uh, Diane's here. Okay. Di yes. Diane, do you want to do a roll call for yeah. us? <laughs> <laughs> or we can each just say our name. Well, or you just it has the name. to be. Has, yeah. It has to be the note taker doing roll call. That's right. Technically, okay. yeah. You yeah. you you just say Beth, and then she'll say okay. yes or no. Beth. <laughs> we shouldn't have gone with Beth first. Did we maybe. lose her? No. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> She's giving Nicole? baths. <laughs> yes. Scott. Yes. Sarah. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So then you'll All record right. those by name. To yeah. Die, yes. All right. Okay, so Thank we have you. a school nurse. We have a school nurse. Hey. 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 Congratulations. Hey. Okay, on to the resignations. Okay. It might be nice while we're talking about that, though, once we get everybody, we, we've talked about this in years prior, but to maybe have a little, you know, summer, you know, I don't know what, cook out, or j just bring the new staff together to meet the oh, board. Oh, I didn't you know, know where you were going. No, where what I was are you talking about? <laughs> That would be that great. It's a great yeah. idea. Yeah, because there'll be a lot. There'll be a lot. Because yeah, it's more than usual and a lot of new faces. Mm. So yep. It Did might be good. August, like before our August. Yeah, maybe the August. Like that. Yeah, that might be nice. Yeah. I know they're all you know from past experience. They were always willing to come. Yeah. yeah. We should include the new. Um, we met the new uh, rec assistant today. Oh, good. Director, yeah. Good. Uh, athletic director. Yeah. That's athletic final. Director. I thought they mm -hmm. said, good. Was that an interview person that stopped by earlier? That was probably the new rec. 
director yes. assistant. I think Jack. that's his title. Is it a local person? Jack. Oh, uh, he's fairly local. <laughs> Woodstock. He's fairly local. Good. Yeah. So it might be nice to include him as well. Oh. Bummer. All right. So resignations. We have. Um, <sighs> you have Devons. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You have Leah's. Mm -hmm. You have Kathleen's. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have Nick. Now, now, Wolf, now you have Diane, Nick. and then I got one um, this today, actually, which I knew was coming. Um, and I'll just, how do we, do we accept them all at the same time? Or you can do it as a, as a batch, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So would you like me to read And we one? always send out a little letter. I don't know. You all, you do something at the end of the year, too. Mm -hmm. We do. People are leaving. But yep. Diane so, puts a little letter together. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming you've read the other one, so I can read this one to you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one is... Um, to the Heartland School Board, it is with deep sadness that I officially resign from my position as K-2 academic interventionist at the end of this school year. My husband has taken a job in Colorado that is a wonderful opportunity, so we will be moving out there this summer. I've loved working for HES and am still in disbelief that this big adventure is happening. One of my first memories coming into, into the school building as the enrichment teacher is how friendly and welcoming it is in our hallways and what a wonderful community connection the school has been with the town. These are two examples of what makes HES so special. I will miss all of the big and little people here and I'm sad to leave when we have Christine leading the helm with her warm, trusting presence. That's sweet. Mm. Thank you for entrusting me with your children. It has been such a pleasure. With deepest re regards, Amy Cam. That's Aww. sweet. That's the end of an era. Yeah. Mm. She was very emotional. Sorry, I didn't hear the name. It was Amy, Amy Cam. Cam. Amy Cam. Oh, okay. Aww. Yep. Yeah. She's she been is, here a while yeah. too, right? She's been here a while. She um, was very apologetic that it was coming late. She had um, anticipated spending one more year. They just mm -hmm. moved. They just bought yeah, a house and moved. Right. <laughs> That's right. And her That's husband is year. already in Colorado. And wow. um, she That's was planning bad. to stay one more year, but and their yeah. household. Wow. So they have to go. Oh. Yeah. So she's pretty emotional, but she she's. No, well, no, she's, um, no, she's she was in Woodstock, and now she's way up north. Orford, I believe. Wow, really? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she's been wonderful, um, all she's the stuff. She's like an enormous part of the yeah. 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 Valley community. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she really? Yeah. 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 Yeah, she was the Oregon's figure skating coach. She's skating, I was going to say it. Let's and talk. then she She's ran skater, the Fresh huh? Air. They run the Fresh Air. She mm -hmm. runs the Fresh Air Fund program. Really? Yeah. Wow. For the Upper Valley or wow. for the whole area? Yeah. 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 So That'll that's, that's going to be a real... Her name's up on posters yeah. all over Woodstock. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's wow. sweet. Yeah. yeah. So she's, she's also quite kind of a quiet soldier too. You know, she doesn't make a big deal out of everything <laughs> she does. Yeah. No, she just that's she'll nice. do whatever. Just she's steady. very positive. The kids love her. Nice. So she'll be missed for sure. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> that was today. <laughs> that was today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Yeah. Christine, I need a copy of that letter. I will get you a copy of that letter. They're all today. sad. Before we leave, They're all sad. I know. They are very yeah. sad. So we have the ones here too, right? We Leah, have the other ones. Devin, yeah. Kathleen, mm -hmm. you've got those. Yeah. So we could do them as a batch if you want. Them. Yeah. Um, so I guess we need a motion to accept. Uh, Devin, Leah, Kathleen, Nick, and Amy's resignations with deep regrets. Yeah, I would make that motion with deep regrets and gratitude for their many years of service. Second. <laughs> <laughs> now we can call those names again, Diane. Okay. Mm. Sorry, Sarah. Aye. <laughs> yes. Scott. Aye. Yeah. Oh. oh yep. Beth. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Done. I thought Beth would second that. That's, that's too bad. That is, okay. yep. Yeah. I've been at the so. end of my driveway many times and waved to Amy. Yeah, yeah I bet. Oh, yeah, because she's fine. Yeah, she comes right. through. Back, I mean, I guess, no, I didn't know that they had moved, but, uh, yeah. I mean, um, yep. Summer. Yeah, okay. last summer. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. at least she's cleaned out already. <laughs> Right. Yeah. First move. That's true. With the first move. <laughs> right. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And then things will go faster. Yeah. Um, okay. So draft schedule. Um, I can. Is our TV working? It was. Looks like it's off. Uh, I'm not 
Yeah, I'm going in for a second. Yeah, go for it. I don't know. Oh, we're having technical Being problems. way too polite. <laughs> 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 you should pass it over that side of the table. You used to be a snack provider. You, you've mm -hmm. slacked off, buddy. <laughs> you used to bring cookies and yeah. chocolate. Cheese. 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 <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll find yeah. Scott has definitely slowed down. I'll find some cheese. Oh. Cheese, that's <laughs> always good. Maple products. Oh. Well, or maybe we'll, we'll take maple, too. Okay. Cookies. Maybe I'll move on to a quick policy discussion before sure. we. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, we wait for technical. Um, so the reason this policy thing is on here is um, it came up at the um, the retreat. retreat. SU, SU yes, the retreat. SU retreat, um, and it's the health and wellness policy. Mm -hmm. um, and the question was, I think that the policy states that you're not allowed to bring in any. <coughs> unhealthy snacks um right and birthdays or celebrations you cannot use uh, food as a reward yes you cannot use food as a reward and you also um are not allowed to bring in like birthday treats doesn't something. it say something about i don't know if it says that it's no like, i don't think oh, it okay. says something about birthday treats oh okay when you when you say the health and wellness policy is this the whose policy is so this, this was one? um it was one that was adopted a couple of years ago by Yes, you and all the boards. So and you all, all share boards. that okay. policy. And it's one of the ones on that list that said needs to be or proposed to be amended just a little bit. Yeah. And one was around that piece about okay. mm -hmm. uh, sweets being used as either a celebration or reward. I don't know how it's worded. Yeah, I think it, yeah. And then the other piece was around, around uh, the recess because right now it says recess cannot be used as a... Um, as a consequence, as a unless consequence. it's a loss behavior, of loss, loss of recess right. cannot be unless used as a consequence <laughs> unless it's a behavior at recess. Related to recess, yeah. right. right. And uh, the, the suggestion was made while we were doing this policy revision, or, or at, I think it, yeah, it was made at the retreat, that we just give the principals a little bit of discretion there, that mm -hmm. they, they could, like let's say somebody just literally was not finishing their work knowing you can't do anything but you know had like five minutes to go and the teacher said look I'd, I'd really like to take five minutes of their recess and that they'd have some discretion to do that you know um, so that those were the two suggestions it seemed pretty minuscule to me I and mean, I think hard, especially if the principals yeah. have the discretion it is I mean we want kids outside playing um, there are Brittany and I were just kind of problem solving today when can we find time for teachers to have these important conversations with kids around behavior right. stuff yeah mm -hmm. like just a five minute like yeah what yeah. happened what happened what's know? going on what can we do differently um, tomorrow we, we feel right. a little bit like our hands are tied because you can't do that during recess you can't and yep. we really don't have a lot of other Times. Yeah. Yeah. No. I would support l a language amendment that that's that said that specifically that the building leadership would have some leeway and just leave it at that and mm -hmm. and not not try to have the board like articulate right. exactly yeah. Yeah. right exactly. It, something matter of fact, that Diane, if you send me that today. policy because okay. I'm gone, <clears throat> but I I can add that. I can well, and I would also it. say that. Um, add that. Can I have this by two cents? Yes. Definitely. Um, as a kid that was kept in quite a bit to finish work or get a little extra help, um, it was really detrimental. Even if it was just that five minutes, it was signaling out and it was you know, it wasn't it wasn't a helpful thing, it was an embarrassing thing. And so I think it's really important that I think it totally could be up to the discretion of the principals, but there's gotta be some sort of monitoring or something mm -hmm. that it doesn't happen. The same kid every so, day. Very often. Yeah. 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 I think it is important time to also have those really important discussions with kids, but again, it's that ability not to signal like that out or, you know, and have it be that negative aspect yeah. of it yeah. up there. So I don't know. I mean, I've just been kind of on the fence with it. Yeah. Um, you could have it. Yeah, Beth, you could How do we know, you know, that, how, how do we know that a teacher isn't Every Wednesday, pulling somebody out because they just need a little extra help on their math, no, and now this kid is yeah. math. <laughs> yeah. 
But that's just maybe my own childhood coming back. Yeah. No, they would. But that's they would where we to, need to draw our experiences from. Yeah, so. that's good. And, and they would need to. They would need to check with administration. And we could even put something in there that, you know, not to <laughs> exceed two times per month or something like that. So, so it's not a regular occurrence. And I think that the language, the language that's in currently in the health and wellness policy, it's been a while since I read it, but it. I think we need to keep the intent there because I think the intent that's is there. The, right. Yep. That's what and, I was going to say. And yeah. not the like the harshness of the language. So like it is the you know like it's the, the intent, intent, intent right to to not use or, or to, it, yeah. yeah it is the philosophy of yeah. the WSESU so that's you. Yeah. that recess is, is not, not to used be used as a, as a right. consequence. Yeah. It, however, exceptions on a case by case basis. Right. Can be yeah. made by administration. I don't even think it's a I, well, I would be careful not to, and maybe this is just, I'm just thinking if I was a teacher and I wanted to pull a kid for a few minutes right before recess, just say, hey, let's check in about this real quick. Okay, great. Off you go. But I have to check with an administrator first. One, right. it's a little undermining of their professional professionalism, you know, yeah. and also. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. Like as a teacher, I'm not going to go seek out an administrator no. and say, "Hey, can I talk with a kid for a few minutes?" Like I would, it just, would just say not to exceed twice a month. And then if you hear of a teacher doing it twice a month, then you yeah, and also not to exceed. In other words, I think you could put a time restraint on it too, so it's not the whole recess well, yeah. should never period, be. right? Yeah, no. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's the, yeah. I mean, I, I've heard from some parents <coughs> who feel like. They have kids who have a lot of energy, and recess is like really They've essential it, right. to their self-regulation. Mm -hmm. And they feel like it, you, they get it. The kids get into a bad sort of cycle right. because they get held in for recess, and then they act out more because they didn't have the recess. Right. And then they get held in again, right. and now they're down two recesses, and yeah. it sort of spirals yeah. down into this really bad. Um, Although no kids should be getting held in right now. <laughs> Well, if it okay. happens no at kid. recess, they might be. Oh, okay. So yeah, if it's a behavior right. at recess, then right. it would be a Because the policy does allow that, right. 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 Yeah. right. So recess and correction. They well, what, like say, you're not going to take away. Yeah, just you know, say, like, I think everything that, I'm hearing, I also, I also think it's important what Brittany's saying, that to um, respect that relationship yeah. between oh, yeah. the I agree. Yeah. building leaders and the, the teachers. teachers. Mm -hmm. And so I would even... Individually, I would not want to put like a twice a month limit on it. I would just want to say not to be regular or something a little used sparingly. To be used sparingly. Kind of to be used. Yeah. yeah or, and not well, because if we notice that it's happening a with a teacher on. where we're like, You'd yeah, it's kind of happening a little, because we're going to find out. We have our you know, write up system or whatever. So, yeah. you know, I think then it would be just a conversation with us. Okay, something's not quite right here. What are we going to do about this to help support the teacher and the students so that this doesn't keep happening? Um, you know, and we would think regulate it ourselves when we're doing our initial like rollout of behavior. Like, you know, this is why this was changed, but we can't swing the opposite direction now. We need to be sure that we're keeping in check. Here's why, you know, kind of thing. Well, I also, like, I guess I would see it. And maybe this is from an outsider standpoint. I would almost see it being used more for an academic catch-up rather than a consequence. I don't like, think it would be a consequence, but more like yeah, that. Let's let's like the yeah. collaborative problem-solving conversations. Yeah. Those right. are really important, and they they need you need that one-on-one -on -one time with a child. And unfortunately, yeah. teachers don't get it very often, yeah. unless they're taking away from the other students. Right. right. You know. <laughs> yes, of course they can set a kid up to you know. Okay, right. you guys do your work real quick. I'm just going to step out in the hallway. But, right. you know, like, that's still a lack of teacher in the classroom working with those kids. So it's like this, it's a tough balance. Yeah. And, and I, I think as so long as we state up front, our, the philosophy of this school yeah. is that recess is not to be used yeah, that's a good idea. As, yeah. as a consequence or a punishment. It is the philosophy of the school that we don't stigmatize kids by pulling, you know, by separating them out regularly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. okay, we Sarah, then leave it up yeah. to the... Sarah brings up a really good point. Are we... Are we weighing in now with the eventual outcome of this being that there's still going to be one policy Correct. Yes. Or, Correct. Is, or are we, we are, are we modifying one for Heartland? No. no. We're looking okay. at one SU policy yeah. and trying to get all a feel for where all the board right. policies. Right. Okay. So we're kind and of I, weighing in. Right. And, yeah. and I imagine all the schools okay. would have that philosophy yeah. and would be yeah. on the same Yeah, they page. are on the so same page. Um, yeah. everyone yeah. should be able yeah. to. Agree I agree with, with you. I yeah. do, I, do, I agree. And I'm yeah. kind of on the same front. I mean, I think the same front with the suites is that 
Um, that should be our intent. Because right. our intent is right. not to reward children with sweets. Um, right. But, but we also we allow And you don't really. Flexibility. No, we really don't. The other one yeah. is the birthdays, though. I mean, parents. Yeah. People and bring. And I say people. Yeah, they make cupcakes. But not everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know, some people do. It doesn't seem excessive. So it, it used to be excessive. Yeah. It used like five or six years ago. Yeah. It was excessive. I feel like it's not yeah. excessive. Well, it's a lot of birthdays sometimes yeah. too. Yeah. Right? So, well, yeah, three in a month and everybody. It's not everybody. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I think you can yeah. say in there. Can we say in there? We, we as an alternative, we encourage healthy yeah. snacks, snacks right. for right. celebration activities or something. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Just put it more positively. So yeah. we're not gonna judge. Nobody's gonna send the cupcakes home. I don't want to become one of those schools that no. I hope not. Parents who. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. like, so it sounds like a cupcake every once in a while. I <laughs> know. They were very good. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Stick a candle in them. <laughs> okay, so I, ha I think I have a good feel for what people want. Okay. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. So do you want to play with it or do you want me to play with the discussion? <clears throat> Either way. Well, I think we need all the other boards to Well, they're in, weighing so. in. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're weighing in. So, um, I but guess we have to make. Weighs in. Don't, don't. Hey, um, regarding the wellness policy, yeah. I think it will be worth talking to Craig briefly about. Um, oh. Because it's not just necessarily celebrations and things like that. He may be asked to cook certain things or provide certain things for mm. classrooms. It's, it's in there, too. That stuff is in point. there. Yeah. Chatting with him. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. I'm not sure what the next step is on that, but, but don't we have a supervisor? Elizabeth will talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because my understanding is we have to get this done at the next SU meeting, right? So. The outlying policy part? Yeah, we, we yeah. well we've got it basically done. We right. just need the one final right. vote. We have all the required, we have all the recommended, and we have a couple that needed like this to be adjusted. I mean we're almost there and then we're so then we're ready to we, we already said we're gonna use the VSBA names, yes. so we're gonna rename them all. Mm -hmm. And then we're we're ready and to I'm just working, final adoption. I'm working on that now. And I'm what supposed to come doing? sit with you, or am I? <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I'm what I'm doing is doing all the required, because that's what most of the policies are anyway. Mm -hmm. And then I was going to do the recommended. Okay. Great. Right. And then so we're pretty much done. David, do you have a June. list of <clears throat> a list right tonight of what you're looking for? Excuse me. No, um, I think that's what I mean. I think at the, the end next of the retreat, there were like five things that needed to be accomplished. Yeah, no, I think I mean, we've, I think I've... Health and wellness was one. Right, I think that... Oh, <coughs> the other... Um, because I I had one, there was one that I was looking at, and I, I never weighed, I meant to email you. Yeah, so oh, everybody oh. has to email me. Well, yes. And okay. wasn't there one that Ann, there was another one okay. that Ann mentioned, too, um, I thought. She mentioned the health and wellness? Uh, yeah, she mentioned um, and then the was, homeschool policy, and I read the homeschool policy, and the VSBA homeschool policy is to look at the state's homeschool policy. <laughs> and I was like, done. Like, okay, I don't even know why it. this is a discussion. So, in I other words, to, to follow board. the state yeah. homeschool yeah. law. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, okay. the VSBA recommended policy is follow the state's homeschool law, law. And regulation. <laughs> right. So, that allows it to be. So, to me, that wasn't yeah. a question, and I decided not to bring it up. Good. <laughs> it works for me. So, the one on my mind is, is um, like that two SU meetings ago when we were divvying up responsibilities, like at the last minute. I stayed late for some reason getting out of the room and I had I asked Amy uh, Nikki for something to do because I had Oh right. I and had, you haven't right. reviewed and I did. Oh okay. well, I didn't there was we weren't supposed to like No, you were supposed to go tell to, me. Go I can't to, remember yeah. what each person It had to did. something to do with the board being involved in um uh, was it the exact not employees the exec employees interaction with students and it, and you told me flat out it, David it had not it was outdated right yeah I remember that because you yeah. showed it to me yes I think right yeah it was an old very not very, very, very but pretty old yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah over twenty years old yeah no it had something yeah no and I think we were just going to heap that one we were because yeah. it didn't make so any sense I'm sorry anymore. I'll try to yeah. find that code. If you find it, yeah. just send it to Nikki. Well, yeah. okay. it's so probably I'm already in the heat pile, but it probably already is. You have another uh, Amy up there. That's another um, Amy. So we're ditching oh, that one. Amy, yes, right? we're ditching that one. Okay, so I don't think you were one of the ones I didn't hear from. Okay, I think I but incorporated you, you, your you, feedback. You're around because uh, the next SU meeting is on. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be. Oh, now it's the 17th. It's the 17th. Right. Yeah. And you're around that week, right? 17th or so you and Elizabeth just have to help get that. 
their retreat. Because I know. What I can do is just let Amy know that Heartland. So fix. You need to fix it. Already, already had, had their retreat planned. scheduled. That's oh. kind of for the seventeenth. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And Amy because might. I remember we had talked about it. She could be flexible that. As we and I think Amy could be flexible. So why couldn't we? I think she said she could be too. Because yeah, she, she just can't do. She wanted Mon first the Monday. First Monday. So do you want to run some other dates by her then? I was going to say, why can't we move SU to the fourth Monday? That's possible. Does that work with? I won't be there, but. <laughs> <laughs> that's that vacation week. Yeah. And Actually, we, and we do, we do yeah. need just, right. maybe just after, after that. Well, call in. That's true. After this conference. We have that nice conference meeting. phone now. I know. Well, well I'm taking that with me. The <laughs> SU meeting another day that week. Well, we traditionally had done SUs on Wednesday, but yes. I like the idea but, of lining up. Oh, I know what it is. Amy is not available on Wednesdays. At all. At all. That's what it was. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So that's why... It was, we were discussing when to have it. Okay, well, why don't we... And Heartland is usually the fourth Monday, but I'm on vacation that week. Yeah. Right. That's um, what we thought is that, you know... Yeah, so Heartland that's why we... Well, that's why we did it, that's right. why we that's did it that way. Right. Way. Right. right. And that worked for everyone, and it was hard to find that. Yeah. So. It was Mount Scutney the first Monday, right? No, second. It's second. Weathersfield is the first Monday. Right, Weathersfield Mount first Scotty Monday. Mount Scotty second. second Monday. That's why so it's SU third, third Monday. Because and then and Heartland, 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 Heartland the fourth, fourth Monday. Monday. Right. right. So okay. just for this month, if Amy's if able to. If Amy's we can move willing it to, to move it, I would like to yeah. keep. Right, exactly. We keep it going. Yeah. Yeah, I would like fine. to keep I our board meeting yes. because we dug around a lot. To you mean the retreat? The retreat. Do you have the 17th retreat? Okay. Five o'clock. And again, just to remind everybody. Hold on, let me check. Okay. 17th of June. June. <laughs> at five. I think yeah, that's Nikki's the one that you. At yeah. Nikki's house, that's what I remember too. Yeah. Yep. No, I don't. That's okay. Monday the 17th. Yeah, does that work? Yeah, and I didn't have that in my. Game. That's why <laughs> yeah, I'm just, gone that week, but I don't. You don't need me that's necessarily. Right. Uh, five. Five o'clock. You can be there, Diane. Yes, because you usually take minutes. David, you're not there. I'm on, on vacation the 18th night as those three days. Eight, uh, is it 18? Wait, you're 17. on retreat. You're on vacation the 17th. 17th. June. That, remember, that's why we couldn't do the forum that Right. Day. So I'm gone the 17th, 18th, oh. and 19th. Oh, yeah, that's, oh. A that's not good. But that's not good. Should we? All right. So this is okay. why the SU meeting can't be on the 17th either. Really. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So what about? Back to the drawing board. <laughs> so either way, we have to change it. Is that what we're but saying? I, we were good. Yeah. So let's go back to our. But I don't. God, I, I don't want Heartland to. You know, your retreat to have to ro roll around my schedule well. necessarily. I just had never written that in and didn't think we had finalized it. But yeah. I wasn't sure if we had finalized Well, mine still it, says so tentative. Why I didn't Yours says tentative. Yeah, it was tentative. It it was, was we were going to decide yeah. it on Tonight. today. What about yeah. the first for of our June? retreat of July? Oh, first of July. We were, I mean, we were worried about it for the forum because we thought people might be away, but if we're it works, around, works for me. Yeah. we yeah. can yeah. do the first. Yeah, that would work for me too. Uh, July 1st? I'm around. Are you back, uh, Nikki? I am back. I have five house guests. Um, Perfect. You can escape <laughs> I, to, 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 to my house. house. <laughs> no, 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 we'll do it. We can do it at my house. Well, no, I don't have house guests. Then. Um, well, they'll be at my house. parents' house. Um, so that'll. I, I think let's just do it the first, and we'll just make it work. You good? Yeah. All right, July first. Uh, now I'm writing this in. Wait, hold on. There's Take one other. The wait, 17th. wait. I have to check one thing Perfect. that is. And I think we can convince. Not in my calendar yet. We'll convince Weathersfield that maybe they don't need to meet in July, and if they do, they'll just meet without me. That's all. That's okay. right. The first is okay unless the VSO concert is that night. <laughs> so oh, find that online. That's right. There. If it's the Queechy VSO concert. Can, can you find that online? Oh, the South Prom for one. Okay, no, it was the fifth. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Excellent. So right. what time do you want to start the retreat? Five? five? Yeah, five. five on the first. Um, Where are they going to be at school? Six? Uh, in, at your house? Do you guys have yeah. that? But Nikki, if you feel, if you have house guests and you feel like it just isn't going to work to host, yeah, I'd be happy be, to. Don't do or that to yourself, Nikki. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm good. Have you sure? Else. Yeah, no, I'm good. 
because um, they'll be at my parents' cabin and we just won't let them in the house that day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have three okay. nephews. So. <laughs> and it's going to be potluck? Okay, so our retreat yeah. forum. Oh, the forum. Are you going to send oh, something out? Well, Bettina used to have this right. nice You're little thing. You're talking about the I'm not going to be able to. Were you signed up for? Oh, my sister. What was that program? It's coming into town. It worked. Where did that So Brittany can't be there on the first, is that? Wait, you did can't you just say that? She can't. She oh. just said that. She just right. said that. Right. 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 Well, no, unless my so I you thought my sister was door. coming in the we fourth. Want Angie to be there too. But it also says she's coming in on the. That's helpful. Oh, that is the fourth. Know. Oh, wait a minute. No, oh, I can't. Angie We're talking about the first. I know. When I went back, I thought it was the same. I think. So you can do the first. I think I'm good. Okay. Yes. So we're back on the first. Back on the first. Oh. And we'll hold, I added a meeting. Sorry to panic you all. We'll work for Angie, but yeah, do we, I we, can we email Angie okay. and find out. I'm not sure when. She, I know she's about. Wait a minute. I have her vacations she, written in. Oh, you do? Oh, I do. Like, yeah. I think July first. Just not going. Uh, to meet around seventeen. Now I don't know. She does have that down as a vacation day. All right. But I don't know if she's going away. She might like if we tell I don't her. Know that Are we Coming. Are we meeting on the 17th as well as the board meeting? Well, wait a minute. No. No. no you might so, be right Oh, so know. Beth, did you weigh in on the 1st there, July 1st? The 1st is fine. Okay, good. Okay. So we're not meeting on the 17th of June. At all. Okay. And we are having our retreat on the 1st of July, and we may have the security forum on the 9th of July depending on the availability. Well, I already heard back from them. All three of those dates work for them. Oh, fantastic. So ninth of Both so the chief. ninth of July. They work, it works for the chief and for Tiffany. Okay. So do you want to lock in the ninth? Yep. Yes. Let's do it. 6 p.m. here. July 9th. July 9th. All right. All right. Security. We'll call it a security yeah. forum. <laughs> yep. Yep. Who said six? Yeah. Whatever time works for best for the community. I, s I um, told the chief and month? Tiffany six to July eight, roughly, but that. does that work? I mean, I, uh, on so many boards, we, I, we've gone back and forth about this, trying to find okay. And the, ideal time. the problem is, and you know, like I love morning meetings, and we say the, earlier, the better. But, I would say, but people but, who yeah. work can't get their no, it's, six, it's tough, yeah. right? You can't, and it's and, and having it at five is tough for people who, who work. Yeah, yeah, who six work is shifts a or who, time. who work nine to five, and so six o'clock seems to be the most sort of in the middle friendly yeah, okay. time, you know. But it obviously doesn't work for everybody. It's tough. You have so we're locking kids, in the night. It's tough. Um, yes. For the form. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to confirm that with both of them right now. Okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, Saturdays, sometimes you think Saturday, a good would a Saturday work? But Saturday seemed to, nobody wants to come to it. No. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, I know that it's, it can be hard to get people to the breakfast, to the, those breakfasts sometimes on Saturday morning. Um, yeah, I, but there's no perfect time. Food is a good idea, though. Food, food is a good, food is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> food and child care. I think child care does help. You know. We got Craig. Craig will whip up something. <laughs> Do you want me to ask? Right. Him? I don't know how much that for the security forum. It costs money. It costs money. I mean, just cookies. Yeah, pastries, bakery, something like that. Baked goods. Baked goods. And we just talked about finger foods. I know. I was going to say, are we going against our own policy? <laughs> I'd say. When does this I'd say people. I'd say, I'd say. I'd say finger foods. More yeah. like we could have. Yeah, yeah. Could have I agree. Foods. I think finger foods. Yeah. What's that? <laughs> finger foods. Yeah. yeah. See. So we do want to yes. 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 Like yeah. yeah. We want to make money in this program, so we're happy to do this. Cheese, yeah. veggies, right? That's sure. right. Exactly. Yeah. That's good. That'll be up first. Yeah. No, yeah, excellent. To, to the food yeah. program. No, no, great. I hired him for this end of year staff little luncheon that we have. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. Yay. He's thrilled. And we'll advertise to the school. Right? Okay. Okay. So, All right. back up right, to the draft schedule. schedule. Okay. Well, um, there, as you can see, there are tons but, of tabs, so I don't know how Excuse much me. One last thing. I, I'm sorry about this. Okay. But what about <coughs> how are we going to confirm with on the form, the security form, with David Orm Ormiston and the select board. Oh, good point. You follow me? because we have to be me. Very good point. Will you take care <coughs> of that? And if that changes, 
Because remember, we have the Chief and Tiffany are good, 8, 9, and 10. So if Dave says the 9th doesn't work, okay. we could go to one of those other two dates, right? Okay. We so they meet on Mondays, right? They meet Monday. So Tuesday should Tuesday, be. Tuesday should be. Yeah. Tuesday should work, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so you'll follow up with that, Nikki? Yes. All right, done. And let us know, because I won't try for child care until I have a confirmed yes. date. Mm -hmm. Go okay. here. <laughs> so I'll just, um, Touch screen not working. Now, poor Beth, she can't see this. Oh, did you share it with oh, her? Oh, no, I didn't share it yet, but I can. So um, We'll talk detailed, Beth. We're looking at a spreadsheet now. She's going to send it to you, Beth. Okay. I don't, are you in a position be to be able to read it, though? It would be just as confusing if you, <laughs> if you had it in front of you. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to touch on this. a few highlights because there are lots of pieces to the schedule, yeah. and we did. Um, we we did. The, the yeah. staff has. You should have it, Beth. Approved it, liked it. They we finally good. figured it out, yeah. and there are some good things about it, and of course there are some things that are not so great about it, depending on what you teach and who you are. <laughs> so, um, but it was a good compromise in all directions. Um, there was one. One um, thing that was really important, we got, uh, I, I think I shared with you, a petition from the middle schoolers oh, wanting yes. recess. Wanting recess, So yeah. we were able to put in a 30-minute recess three times a week, and then on the electives day, uh, Monday, m days, Monday and Thursday, it'll they'll get a break, but it won't. It'll probably be 20 minutes, not 30 what, minutes. What tab are you looking at? Duty. Duty. First one. Oh, duty. Got it. Together. We still have some issues. Uh, Amy is double booked for lunch and recess, so we've still got some things to work out. But we were able to put in breaks for the middle school, which is really That's important. Great. That's great. Thank you. That's really important. That's really oh my important. God, they need it. <laughs> um, so what we had to do was, you'll see it's specials K-5 and then specials 6-8. One of the big things that the middle school team wanted um, was a longer teaching block yep. or content area. And that's not what the K-5 teachers wanted. So the specials are 50 minutes in 6-8 and 40 minutes in K-5. Okay. So we don't have a consistent time yep. for everybody, but we've figured it out. So okay. nice. um, yeah, so some of the exciting things are art. Um, this is middle school art. And what we've done is so far who we've interviewed for art. They're very excited to work. Um, there'll be art instruction one week and then art STEAM instruction, a collaboration uh, with the great. STEAM teacher and the art teacher, which we're very excited about because we know how powerful collaboration and co-teaching can be and how good mm -hmm. it is for kids and staff, actually. So we're excited about that. Um, everybody has some additional, uh, it's pretty f equitable in terms of prep time across the board, teachers and um, specials teachers, that's important. So I'll share it with you guys, can look at it. I don't know if it'll make sense to you, it's pretty complicated, but <laughs> you're welcome to <laughs> take a peek at it. Um, so then the teachers each have their own classroom schedule where their specials are put in. Once we, once we draft the specials, the teachers can put them into their classroom schedules. 3-5 is already putting in all sorts of other things, fit time, and which is uh, intervention time, focus instruction time, in, in, intervention on the um, more remedial intervention and the enrichment <coughs> part of intervention as well. Um, the exciting, they haven't done that yet, we're working on early dismissals, lots of pieces. Let me see. Delayed schedule. So if you look at the 6 8 student schedule, What's really great about it is it is the same Monday through Thursday for the kids, which is actually quite exciting. Yeah. So if you have ELA, first period, you're going to have that first period Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, that's not true now, and it's really complicated for the kids. So that was one of the biggies. What we did on Fridays, um, we changed up Friday, and there will be, um, and this is to kind of, the kids will have a study hall, 
so that the teachers have a prep. Mm -hmm. Then they'll have an elective, which is, um, it's not going to be year long anymore. I think it's by no, trimester, it's by right? trimester. It's going to be by trimester. Yeah. Um, and that is going to be a, an extra prep for the 618 to plan their fit time, mm -hmm. which they need time to look at the data and make decisions around what kids need. Um, we revamped fit a little bit, so each each teacher gets a time for fit per grade level. I don't know if that's the best. Let me just show you the teacher schedule. So Sarah and Larissa, the LA and Science, could be paired to deliver some intervention, or they could do it separately. It's very flexible, but they get each grade level, so six, seven, eight. So they'll have the kids will have intervention in content areas and it'll be smaller groups so it'll be more manageable the teachers I yeah. mean we had a lot of work to do around that but I think we've yeah. I think we've got it um, they've got a built-in flex time which is a little bit different that's a time when teachers get to work with kids on um, the very large missing work lists yeah. that we have so mm -hmm. they one of the struggles is um, we have other staff members Manning or supervising study hall, and they're not the teachers, so it's really hard for them to help the kids with their work because it's not their it's not their subject area. Yeah. So we did, we were able to build that in. Um, the kids get a break, and then the integrative studies will be one period at the end of the day on Friday, and we've managed to get what I say like, like thir 12, 12 13, 13 staff, staff members. members available during that time wow. so that the kids can work can have more um, support from teachers so on so Monday through Thursday they'll have these bigger blocks of ELA yeah. math mm -hmm. but then on Friday it'll be more the the fit time and the flex That's time and they yeah. won't inter I, I like that a lot actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is I an elective Monday Thursday, a Monday Thursday elective yeah. in there, and then there's a Friday elective. Yeah, so that's yeah. still happening during the week two, just two days though. Yeah, but that's yeah. That, that, I think it's going to nice. be yeah, great to be honest with you. I think and the teachers mm. have really bought into it. They're not. I mean, if you look at the schedule this year, they're not losing core instruction time. Right. It's just divvied up in a little bit of a different yeah. way. So. You can sort of get everybody on the right track before mm -hmm. the weekend and mm -hmm. kind of make sure, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, it feels just that, that feels yeah. there's logic to that that's really nice. Yeah. You know, does it work with, obviously, it works with a winter program, with winter yeah. time away from the yeah. building and stuff like that? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So we met today, the team that's um, the integrated team, there's more, more people on it. And, you know, this year they, this is their dream. And, and, and I think it's really awesome. They want, to provide kids with more choice and ownership and project-based learning and integrated studies and it's hard it's hard to do and they <coughs> did they did collaborate on a unit this year for the integrated period and then they finished it somewhat and then they um, plan these passion projects which um, a, a lot of schools are doing because it's driven by student interest yep. they want to learn about something we have work to do around it. I mean, there needs to be more parameters and more check-ins and more accountability. And smaller um, groupings and smaller was groupings. one of the things that we... Yeah. And we talked today about, they. we brought in a consultant to work with them on passion projects, and she suggested that there be no, I mean, work to say yes. So some of the kids are doing projects that they can't do at school, which is making it complicated because right. then they're in this period and their project is at home. Right. So we have some work to do around that. Mm -hmm. And she had suggested that they don't tie the projects to any sort of grades. Mm -hmm. And we discussed that, I mean, it makes sense to tie learning expectations to mm -hmm. these projects. So mm -hmm. those those soft skills that mm -hmm. kids need. Yeah. So we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna do that next year. So we're pretty excited. That's um, great. great. Know, just to have it done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and to have buy them. That's huge. Yeah. That's a month's so, worth of work. Uh, of the, are there particular more. questions I can answer? or Did you hear most of that, Beth? I, I think it was a little hard to follow because I wasn't sure what she was looking at. What I was telling oh, her. Oh, right. <laughs> so the one thing I just noticed is that with the K2 having um, lunch and then recess after, I know it's in that like somebody has to have it. Yeah. Um, after lunch and it's just something we'll need to you know kind of keep tabs on in that once their lunch participation um, and once their weight because they find mm. that kids don't tend to eat um, at the 
watch much. it or take their time because recess is waiting. And so just as we go through, just to kind of keep a tab on the little ones to make sure that they realize they have to stay, you know, till the end of lunch. Yes. Things are finished and that kind of stuff. But then also not use it as like a punitive thing that they can't do recess. You know? Right. <laughs> Yep. Yep. That makes complete sense, and that is that is yeah. a struggle. Somebody's got. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so I will share this with you, so you can look at it more in depth. If you have questions, let right. me know. This is exciting. This, yeah. Well, this is very I, I'm exciting. just like blown away by how much work this must have taken to oh, get to yeah. this. Yeah. This is like the fourth version. I can't version. even imagine. <laughs> like, yeah. I can't. At even. least. <laughs> and consulting with everybody. To, and I just I hope mean, yeah. that it. Continues, so you don't have to do this again next year. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah let it stay two years yeah, in a row. Wouldn't that be great? Let's hope that our tweaks start to, <laughs> yeah, that yeah. your tweaks start yeah. to take. Yeah. And yeah. Well, we'll see how it goes. You know, it's a work in progress. But we have, um, we did, um, Brittany and I and Erica, our special educator and, and interventionist. I think I told you did a workshop, a sta um, DMG. It's a DMG yes. group. Yeah. Um, scheduling workshop. I mean, we're not the only school that struggles with no. scheduling, but we I think we have the components that are, that are recommended. It looks like you took some of those. Yeah, you we took did, those for components. Sure. So I, I guess one of the takeaways <coughs> for me is that you're, you're allowing the middle school to have a different length of yep. class time on a different schedule. Yes. In a different, that'll be this wing. Yes. Right? Yeah. And that's, I mean, that's, that sounds awesome um, because, I mean, we already talked about the forum, but I'm going to bring it back here. That was mm -hmm. so at our forum discussion. Yeah, it's Sarah, true. That, that. that was yeah. a big like, yeah, like more middle schoolishness yeah. <laughs> had to happen at at the middle but school. Yeah. It's what the community was yeah. saying. And yeah, it's a, it's yeah. sharing yeah. resources yeah. is really hard. Put it, but um, yes, yeah, yeah, more more rigorous, more challenging. More, I mean, a lot, a lot of the things you're more talking about, more time, yeah. longer mm -hmm. periods, people were asking for. Yeah. So, I, yeah. <laughs> that's great. So, I haven't read all those notes yet, so that's good. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we got some really, um, some very, like, on point yep. <laughs> yeah. comments in that, in that group. This will respond to some of that, which is yeah. great. Yeah, which well, is yeah. great. Yeah, this is great. Okay. I think you were probably feeling all of those comments too, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, yeah. from the kids I mean, I and, yeah. and the staff too. Yeah. I mean. No, I don't think it's coincidence here. Yeah. Actually, right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So Plus, a little <clears throat> bit of staff change is going to help too because yep. people are moving around a little bit. Yep. Mm -hmm. We'll get to that in my report. Just coming up. It's coming up. <laughs> Stay <laughs> tuned. <laughs> Good. Stay tuned. next since you're plugged in before the Christine thing goes. keeps providing suspense today. <laughs> <laughs> Superintendent's report. Did you want to do board retreat schedule, or you already did that? That's we the did schedule. That. How about board? <laughs> we yeah. did that. How Seven, about, uh, first, July first. That's right? right. We jumped into that. How about board retreat agenda? Have we done that? Right. No, we have not. So no. we'll worry about that later. Um, we don't have to do that. I was going to do the setting the next agenda and do it then. We okay. can do it now. I don't care. We we definitely. I can whip through my report planning. and then we can the, do it. The for yeah, I mean the the we did a little bit. The f a lot of it it sounds like will be the forum going over the forum comments, and I'm wondering if we could pull in some of Scott's idea of widening a little bit before that, maybe the way to do that would be the, these last couple newsletters, if we could get the Google <coughs> forum attached, we could at least provide one more way for people to weigh in before we... About our, those specific you know, questions, is that what you're... Um, or just, or just uh, like say, a, what do you want to tell us? Yeah. What are, you know, yeah. what do you want to share with the board? board. Okay. Yeah. It's a comment board, yeah, yeah I like and then that. We, that okay. might give us a little more diversity. Yep. Although you had a good, I mean, I think the whole board had a good agreed at some point that the themes for the forum I mean there could be a theme in the comment I think it might be uh, just to weigh in here I think okay. it might be better I, I, I think there will be time when you can do that open feedback mm -hmm. but I think because the forum was structured around yeah it might right. be better to keep just so you're looking at yes. the same you're exactly questions right. for the retreat yeah. basically and then start this maybe first thing next yeah. year yeah. as a new so you could still yeah. do a Google okay. form but with those three with those three things Okay. Right. You're right. Because oh, okay. if we got, <coughs> if all of a sudden we got yeah, you got something about, a couple uh, people saying. Right. We think the parking lot needs to be paved. You know, right. You're, you're and we have get, no idea how anyone right. is going to get okay. yep. way okay. off yep. track. Got it. Oh, got that it? Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think that would be. And then, so the other things, do you want to keep going with the agenda? Yeah, let's, let's keep going so, with the agenda. So, so, I, so I, think, I, think the re, I think the forum discussion is good. I think uh, planning the security forum, we talked about 
right? Putting some thought into what that's going to look like would be another agenda item. And then the third agenda item I thought of, and you tell me what you think. Beth, you can still hear us, right? Yeah, she's on mute. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Um, I thought it might be nice in a relaxed atmosphere to invite Craig to this, to this retreat and let him share some of his early observations, uh, what he's thinking about. I think that is uh, a great idea. Really, you know, because it's, it's a little less, it's a little more relaxed. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't know if he's available that night. Well, but and not all of the board has met him. Yeah. And yeah, not I've all the board has met him, him, right? Yeah. yeah. And I know he's got yeah. a lot of very strong opinions very yeah. early on in his, in his yeah. tenure. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, he's already, uh, may, uh, well, I'm, I'll, I was, I'll do it under my report. But okay. um, so is that, is that good then? So I'll yeah, reach out to him and make sure he can come. Great. Once okay. we settle in with Dave Ormstein. I mean, I would say he doesn't need to be here for the whole thing. No, no, I'll just yeah. tell him. Maybe he could come and first, share right some food with us and then, and then we'd let him go first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Maybe we should make, have him make, him, make us dinner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's not push him. Well, it is a potluck. He'll have to bring something. He'll have to yeah. bring, He'll bring, bring something. something yeah. Yeah. Get very competitive. A little pressure, a little yeah. pressure. Yeah, it'll bring the pressure off. Chef. But, I mean, how many right. we had... Um, how many ramen noodle salads last year? Yeah, oh, yeah, that was great. We had a lot of ramen noodle. Three. We had a lot of ramen noodle. <laughs> 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 okay, so didn't you bring things. pizza one year? You had great uh, pizza that year. I remember. Uh, that. My. my your Amy. wife made Amy yes, made good pizza. pizza. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was a that was a good. But we also did. We never talked about the fact. I really sort of bird walking here, but I know Bettina had this program where you shared what yeah. you were going to bring. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can find that and yeah. or ask her. We can do sign up genius. Yeah, sign up yeah. genius. Sign up genius. That was it. Thanks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you bring? Are you inviting Angie as well? Oh uh, yes. Is somebody inviting Angie? It's okay. her vacation time, but okay. she might be willing okay. to come. Okay, I don't we, think were, she's we were talking about something a minute ago, and it had to do with the comments on the, yep. on the Right, Friday. whether we wanted to stick to those questions. Okay, I had, and, that's great. And then we discussed that at the that's retreat. That's great. The, our, do we need to, um, okay, so to further outline that, um, and to remain, uh, like, so it remains sane and, of course, legal, because I, I don't mm, know. What legal's I, important. What is, I mean, so it can't. Let's see what the board, whether the board agrees with me or not. Should there be an expectation or not that it's um, private? I mean, should it? Is it going to be only? Question. Are these comments private and like delivered to Linda Johnston's email, or are they? Is it an an open board somehow, or and is it? Are there answers immediately, or is it just a one-way street? Which I, think I think it's a one-way street. I think it's a one-way. I think it's, it's like way. it's like a uh, the way I picture it is like a comment theme. box. Yes. Like I'm yeah. gonna leave a comment box outside my door, drop yes. something yeah. in, yes. mm -hmm. and then um, I think we can say like comments to be box. shared to with the school board, the yeah. administration and school board, or something like that. Yeah. And you can put your name if you want, but you don't have to. Yeah. On, on the I wouldn't board. want it to be an open thing because then you get into now public right. are responding oh, to yeah. public comments no, no, and it just it becomes like Facebook or something, and we don't need that. If it's a Google form, I could just type in the question and the response could be a comment and not a multiple yeah. choice item Correct. and yep. it'll just come back okay. Correct. so yeah, whoever sets that up um, works. it so goes and you can make it anonymous yeah. or for yeah. not you can, put your name. You can just make name and make it not a required question oh but it will log email addresses unless you say no. it right. not you can set you can set it not to yeah okay yeah and Diane okay. will do Thank an agenda, you. and you. Uh, right, to Diane, and the yeah, agenda will go out. Appreciate You've got those three yeah. items, right? Yeah. Four Safe. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and do that yep. like right. Perfect. Um, um, anything else you want to have on the agenda for that retreat? Or no? Are we good? I kind of want to. I mean, you have to do a little bit of goal setting. Sometimes you do. I like, want a what list of items not to fall off the radar. Yeah. Radar list. I think that's a, yeah. Maybe that's what we call it. In other words, list. we'll create a radar list. Radar list. Yep. Maybe everyone cre everyone could come with a Something list of their things, want. read them aloud, and then we could yeah. mesh a radar list. Yeah. yeah. And that might also be another good way to come up with a couple of goals. We're going to focus on yeah. these three things for sure. And I, and I, the way I see using the radar list is, you know, in preparing, because I'm struggling in, you know, we, we set the agenda here in the board meetings, but things fall off all the time. And then I just need, I need more structure. And so having a radar list 
to be like yeah, it's almost like a park oh, we haven't yeah. talked about this in a yeah. while let's bring this up okay. keep it on the parking lot yeah, yeah. I like that. Good. yeah okay are we good sounds great yeah. that sounds like a lot Thank of good you. stuff to yeah okay talk about. so i'll just i've just got a quick uh <clears throat> list here so food service was one of them and i think craig will give you much more detail but i really like i think we've made a great choice i mean i like his style he and i meet weekly we go kind of go over what his week is going to look like but he has already started to touch base with local farmers and mm -hmm. uh local uh, I, I don't even know he'll get into the details uh the, i guess there's a local beef yeah, farm he already has, he's already met with some food connect and is already um correct you know, getting under contract with them and stuff yeah and i told him we did some we did and, and again i don't know a lot about food service but so i just ask him like, like for example i said one of the things i think for him and tell me if i'm wrong and beth you especially but i think he needs some early successes because people local farms have heard this before like he goes and talks to a beef farmer and the beef farmer says well i can sell you a cow but then nobody ever comes back i told i i said to, to, to craig you know kind of give me the cost comparison it's almost exactly what you would pay i mean other than a commodity hamburg it's exactly what you would pay from cisco or whatever so I pretty much said, go buy the cow, right? I mean, I think he I'm, did, and I think he <laughs> went and bought the cow. <laughs> the cow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah, I don't think he needs to buy a cow quite yet. No. I think he needs to go a little bit. I don't want him to buy a cow that's going to be like Guy Crosby and like chomping at the bit to sell him the beef from like from his stuff. So Good. I mean, I think there's a little more legwork to do that. I think we can yeah, but, make a little more money. But but event, yeah, because he said he was going to meet with you, and I I mean, but that that was my reaction. I mean, my reaction was. If we want local beef, let's buy local beef. I mean, yeah. what, what, what are we what are we fooling around with here? <coughs> so, so Beth, you can guide him a little bit in that direction, then. The bidding process. Uh, yeah, so, right? I've already met with him and I chatted with him and made some connections with him. I'm really trying to urge him to go spend some time with um, with Gretchen um, over mm. at the Woodstock. Yeah, I think he's got that appointment yeah. set up. Yep. Awesome, great. Because she's the one that's like she just finished her first year of doing exactly what he's going to be mm -hmm. doing. So. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Now I, I just like the fact that he's a worker bee. He's ready to go, and you know I think what he doesn't want to do is sit around talking about farm to table and local. Right. He just wants to do it, you know. And and I I want to be able to empower him to do it. So I think if yeah. if if you and I are sort of saying the same thing to him, and he yeah he has touched yeah. base. He yeah he's visited. I think he went and visited Crossit Brook, uh, Crossit Brook, and a bunch of he's visited several schools and he and i know he's got he's got gretchen on his list so he might have already so done the hardest thing for him is really going to be able to nail it down cost that's co his cost per plate that's correct and, because just because he doesn't have experience with that so that's correct um, and so i think it's really you know he's gonna go and know how to do it and wants to do it it's just the math and the things that is the total yeah. in the rear end um, yeah. so he doesn't like run through our food budget in the first three months yeah, well, that that's that's good. So, so other other than checking in with me, should he also be checking in with you and Susan then, in terms of of just? Yeah, I was gonna try to get out and get the food committee back together. And okay. Meet, so he feels like he kind of has some guidance. That that would be um, good. Yeah. As well. so that's something on my plate. Yeah, yeah, because I want this to be successful, and I think we can, you know, matter of fact. Um, Ed did not come with the financials tonight, but my thought was, you know, if you're sitting on a, let's say, two hundred and fifty thousand dollar surplus, again, that was just my incentive to say, go buy the cow, because you yeah, don't, yeah. you don't, you, you know what I mean? You don't have to buy. It's also, it's having him understand how to balance his commodity. Well, that so that's right. He's not going to buy beef. Commodity beef that's fine. Then he should be buying every bean that he can. You know, canned beans or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, still those, you don't want to leave commodity money on the table. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Sure he's aware of that kind of stuff. Um, I had one more other, other thing, and now they fell out of my head. With food service? Um, yeah. Well, if you, if you think of it, just bring it up. I'll remember. Yeah. Okay, that's Let great. Yeah. All right, the other, the other thing on my list uh, was exit interviews. We've got a lot of people who have left, mm -hmm. and in the past, in some of the other districts when we mm -hmm. when we have some turnover we've um the board usually it's the board chair and maybe one other person and we just try to set up some quick half hour to 45 minute exit interviews it's usually with uh 
myself and the board people. Mm -hmm. It allows them to talk about other staff, their administration. Mm -hmm. Just it gets it gives us good feedback, and then we provide that feedback. Is that something the board would be interested in doing? Yeah, we've yes. done that. The we, I don't think we've ever, I don't think we've done that here. We've done it. I know in Windsor, Weathersfield did it one year. We're not as consistent with it, and I've even got an exit interview, little, like mm -hmm. questions to ask, and then we just kind of open it up. So usually it's the board chair and one of the board members. So maybe Nikki, I'll let you decide who wants okay. to do it, and then I'll reach out to some of these folks and see, you know, if we can coordinate times. Anybody that wants to do it, and Colleen's not here too. Um, I, I'd be interested at least in a few. Okay. Maybe you could break that up. Yeah, maybe yeah. Scott could do yeah, one or two. I think it might be a good idea to maybe get back together and share whoever. Yeah, and then at the, yeah, connects. then, yeah. Because I was, yeah. And, then, yeah. I was yeah. Like, and if we could do it before retreat time, it would be another <laughs> little bit of input, mm -hmm. right? We could, oh. we can add that input dur during the forum discussion. Okay, so maybe we can work on, That'd you be know, great. just yeah. a lot. <laughs> yep. To do before the retreat, exactly. No, there's a lot, a lot of people. <laughs> A lot of people actually <laughs> a half hour each is a whole yeah. day for me. Yeah, well, I, and I would only to, to deal with probably the professional folks, and we prioritize with those who've been here the longest. You know, mm -hmm. like we'd yeah. start with Amy yeah. Cam and Nick yeah. Wolf yeah. and people like that. Yeah. I mean, somebody like Devin idea. who's been here a year. I mean, I, that, that's not as valuable a piece mm -hmm. of input as not that we wouldn't if we had time, but yeah. we. Yeah. Okay, I, I think that that's fair. That sounds, okay, that sounds good yeah, we won't do. We won't do yeah. fifteen people. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, the new phone system, Scott had mentioned that. I was going to mention that tonight, but it's uh, basically, uh, it's going to get set up. And, and the advantage there, and the relationship to security is, it's a three-digit yeah. dial system, right? So Christine can pick up the phone, dial 110 or 107, and it gets mm -hmm. right to, <coughs> right now, uh, you have to dial out, have to right? Dial you have out. to dial the central office, she has yep. to get star 107. This phone system will just allow it to do that with. Do we with, actually get new phones, or is it just? No, it's the, the same phone. Same phones. <laughs> yeah. Did you want a new phone? Yeah. You want a new phone? Yeah, I need a new phone. <laughs> what a request. We'll get you a new phone. Well, you're, you're like, is this an echo? I'm like, no, it's just my phone. Yeah. <laughs> it's not an echo. Yeah. 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 At the very <laughs> least, you deserve a phone. Yeah. We'll take care of it. It gets real people. complicated yeah. when you're like three parents at the same time. Yeah. We talked about that several months ago. Here is that. An overlay of the VTEL system, or exactly, it must, it must be right. Right, that. What we realized <laughs> is that we can take, yeah, we can have the internet talk to the VTEL system. Cool. So you're yeah. still on VTEL service. You yeah. still get a VTEL bill, but there's a way that Larry bypasses that system. Yep. Yeah, and so people still calling in will call that same yeah. four. That same number. That same number they call to call the school. Great. When people yeah. call, like when when the school calls us though. It will it be it'll be a voice over IP number, right? Exactly. Okay, it's so going that's to make that route. We may want to let people know that because I know, for example, when oh, I might, might show up at, when I it? see on my cell phone that someone is calling from Stockton, California, never I answer. never I answer. answer it. No. Yeah, that's but a good point. In this case, it could be the school could nurse the school, telling me yeah. my child yeah. is puking. Uh, so uh, yeah. we should so we should l maybe figure out a way to. And maybe there's a way to get the school number to show up. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like I didn't Larry answer any Britney's yeah. phone calls for most of the year. Is that right? There you go. <laughs> I thought you were just <laughs> avoiding me. Because <laughs> no, cool. it would say White River Junction or whatever, and I'm yeah. like, nope, because yeah. I don't want to answer. Those scam calls have gotten so bad. I almost never answer my phone anymore. How you get me, how I get you. Okay. And, and, you know, and it does make a difference. I find myself calling much more frequently now. And mostly the administrative assistant, you know, like Heidi or Linda, I can get right to them. So uh, you'll ask Larry about the other. I'll ask Larry about the call out okay. and what that yeah. number is yeah, going to show. Good. Yeah. Is it going to show a consistent number every time because we can let people know what that is? Right. right? Well, I will. it's probably Pro not. The problem with voice over IP is it just grabs whatever's grabs, available. Yeah. So it's like Stockton, California, Anchorage, yeah. Alaska. So probably not. Oh. So I'll check that out. That okay. yeah, that might be something yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. And then the only other thing I ha oh sh no she's on there never mind it just lit oh. up. Sorry. The only <laughs> other thing I had was and I I sent that out an email. I think I did. Well, maybe just to the board chairs. We we're in the Hopefully this well, solar uh, oh, right. energy bidding process, and I think I sent it out to just the board chairs. But oh. essentially, one of our big questions we we had the pre bid meeting today. Yep. And uh, so the question for Heartland and actually West Windsor is if you're already in a net metering arrangement with a vendor, can you add another one on top of that if all your electrical is not getting covered? And the answer is. Only one net metering per um, per what's the word I'm looking for uh, 
Location. Building. Location. Oh, per, per, per building. Okay. But it's actually, yeah, it's, there's another word for it. Meter. Per, per, per meter. You have, yeah. Heartland has a, an electrical meter through Green Mountain Power. You only get one net metering. So we're not going to be able to right now so include we are you. you. You're with the hydro something or other that a previous board, I, it was only my second year here, and a previous board came in and and, no. and, and they no. didn't they just discover something about those contracts that yeah, may that become relevant to, about the hydro, con there's something that may be coming down the pike, I heard. Yeah, <laughs> it was in the standard about the um, really tax collection on the hydro. Because it's a, it's a um, what's the word, pilot, payment in lieu of taxes arrangement right. with oh, the hydros. Go. But it only includes the town taxes and not the school taxes or something. Except <clears throat> an agreement was made before Act 60 to include the school taxes. And so they just realized I, uh, there's That's something going on that I think we'll find out more okay. about. Yeah. So. And could it impact the agreement or no? Who knows? Who knows? I don't, right. I don't know. Right. Yeah, I don't know enough about it, but yeah. Stay <laughs> tuned. Because hey, so one thing that um, I know because I'm doing your warrant signing for the board is that we have two meters. So there's the flower hall or floral, floral, floral hall is another meter. It's What's another, floral hall? It's another. It's, right. it's the storage. It's another bill. Building out. So out it's behind. always a that's separate bill. Yeah. Huh. And because Ed thought you had one meter here, but that's good. And then there's the Heartland Elementary School, which is meter number one or two, and that's the one that's mostly covered by the contract with Martinsville Hydro. Okay. So what's the, what is the floral? I don't know. I mean, is it like expensive? No, it's is hardly any. It's cheap. Well, because it's not no. really right. business. I don't know why there's the another lights. meter there. That's interesting. I mean, it would okay. be worth looking we'll into the history, do a little research, yep. history okay. of that. I don't. Yeah, okay. And we'll keep an eye on that other part of. Uh, Was it like the original school, Floral Hall? Was it? I think oh, there were no. fairgrounds, right? Oh, yeah. The floral the hall was like from yeah. the from the fairgrounds. So we, yeah. the That's school yeah, right. probably bought it, and then it might have been a town property. We couldn't change be. over the electricity oh. onto the same meter if they're two separate buildings, right? Huh. That's probably what it was. Yeah. That's weird. I'll just ask Ed to do a little research. But it definitely comes to Heartland L Heartland School budget now. Yeah. Okay. okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, it should because we're we're the ones using it. I mean, yeah. it's our storage facility. Yeah. But. Heck, I have two meters in my house. We could do more with that <laughs> it's meter. Not that big. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> do you? Uh, yeah. Right. I'd be more interested in all this other conversation about the hydro. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, a, that's a definitely yeah. stay tuned because I read it. Yeah. Standard, and, and I was. I like, mean, I think the select board probably <coughs> Dave could could explain it to you actually, David, because I think they're I think okay. they're just starting to deal with it. And I've only heard like little rumblings here and there, and um, but it sounds kind of complicated and potentially it sounds very complicated. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do they spell floral? I'm just getting this to Ed. F -L I'm done, by the way. R A L. Yeah, that correct. I think so. Floral. <laughs> yeah, like floral, yeah. like I think floral right. arrangements. Yeah. Okay, got it. Um, I remembered my my. Uh, oh. I knew she would. <laughs> <laughs> um, he did. Craig did mention already meeting with Ed and feeling a little bit of the financial pressure, pressure, or kind of already feeling the screws of Ed. Um, kind of coming down on him a little bit. Um, he didn't say that, all right. <laughs> just, that how he was describing what was going on sounded um, like he was feeling a little bit of pressure on the financial end of things already. So just a, just a heads up. Yeah, well, that's why, that's why, Beth, it's important that it's either that committee or me or you and me. In other words, I, 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 when it comes time to buy a cow, I don't want him going to Ed about buying a cow. <laughs> you, you, you oh, know? absolutely. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so that's why I think we got to get this clear kind of chain of command. Right now, he knows he's reporting to me. He actually said he feels like that relationship with Ed is, you know, and Ed has said the same thing that it's, it's going okay. I was a little worried about that relationship, but, yeah. but, but I, but I think it, 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 it could get, you know, messy if, you know, I want to be able to give di him direction, give Craig direction, and I want to, and I want to direct him in the right you know, in the right direction, which has been, you know, pu pulling the committee together, responding to the local needs in the local, because that's what we've been talking. I think too, that Ed can really also start seeing that Craig is there actually 
to help him and make it easier as well and take the thing to his place. So hopefully, absolutely, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I think I I think that'll work itself out. I'm going to interject one thing that I, I don't, I don't think that we want the system to be sustainable. So. Not, I mean, making decisions in the summer of 19 because there's a, a school budget surplus. Yeah, surplus, right. Doesn't, right. Not necessarily. No, I understand. It just, um, it, it felt like it was putting unnecessary yeah. pressure and questioning a lot more than possibly should have been. Yeah. And I think that the school board is also looking at it from the perspective of the school board and saying, okay, we're going to have to make Moving on to All the right. principal report. Next. <laughs> okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I've just focused on a few of the great things that have been happening at school lately. Can you hear her, Beth? We can move the phone closer. So she's got. She's got my report. Oh, okay, sure. good. Um, yeah, and I got the report. Yep. So there's the bikes. I think they had um, one sunny day in the two weeks that the bikes were here, right? <laughs> Oh, it was an awful. So. Oh, it was cold <laughs> and rainy, but they still. I think it was. They cute still. Um, I love to watch them out here. Yeah. Oh. It's a great, great program, and <laughs> it's so funny. It's she so threw Beth, and I was laughing Beth about that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what did I put up there? Sorry, Beth. We're all laughing because I threw anything. you across the table. <laughs> hey, um, so Angie, Miss Ch, and Miss. I thought I heard. Oh, yeah. she, heard the, she heard the thump. <laughs> Uh, an amazing program. I think we only had a couple of injuries. Right? Just a few. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just a few. Yeah. Couple of minor. The program is yeah. so It's amazing. Awesome. It is very it's cool. It's so <coughs> cool to see these kids that don't know how to ride bikes yep. out there yep. and then to see kids like trying not to jump. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's really cool. cool. Not to jump. Um, we had our steam night. <laughs> this happened after our last board meeting, but and I know some of you were there, but wow, what an incredible evening. It really great. was. So cool. It was pretty so awesome. Great. And that was brought to life by Lauren, Tina, and Kathleen. Oh, that's worked together. Sweet. Oh my gosh! You should. Did you see the wheelbarrow? One student made with her dad um, a wheelbarrow that actually oh, looks like okay, a paper. Okay, so I saw the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower, the was, Eiffel Tower was awesome. It was awesome. No, it was made out of cardboard and just recycled materials, that's but it so actually cool. I mean, it worked. It was oh, that's awesome. so cool! It, and it it, awesome. it attracted the best cross section of families that I've, I've ever seen, seen yeah, at yeah. a Heartland event. Like yeah. Yeah. there were families there having having so much fun who I, who I have never seen at any other event. So yeah. it, it was it was, it was just incredible. terrific. It, really it was, was really cool. Super. So we want to continue with that <coughs> annually. Can you, can you thank the committee? I I think the board would agree. Can you thank the committee from the board because I think that was just absolutely yeah, one of the best. Yeah, outreach awesome. events that's happened. Yeah, yeah I will definitely do that. My favorite was the um, what was it called? I made a little purse with them, um, and you could put snack. You could fill oh, your yeah. box with snacks. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, just to keep you updated on the Cliff oh, Grant, oh, yeah. we formed our committee. We met with Duncan and oh, Meredith. Meredith. Last week. We have a kickoff event on September 13th. Duncan's going to come and do two storytelling Great. events um, on the 13th. So we're excited and a book giveaway. I think each child gets two books that night or that that day. Mm -hmm. So, um, and we are really um, mm -hmm. the staff was involved in choosing the presenters that are coming, and we're really looking to um, bring in diversity if we can because it's just another yep. way to. Yeah, you know, yeah. expose kids to diversity. That's so, awesome. Yeah, it's really good. Um, is anybody here for this concert? Sarah, were you here? No. I wasn't. I oh. couldn't make it that day. I was so sad. I heard it was great. I heard it, it was really, really great. Uh, about 160 kids from our SU played together. Um, the music department pulled it off. It was really, it was really That's quite so incredible. Cool. David saw it probably three times. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I did. I did. <laughs> I just thought the the, the stu students being part of an ensemble that's that big <clears throat> it just felt so cool. Yeah, yeah like literally. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It was really, it was really well put together, very organized, no yeah. big glitches. I mean, and by the way, the music staff uh, met to right. debrief and because they were going to do this every other year because it's a, it's a major undertaking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they came back to me and said they want to do it every year. Great. So that's that's great. It was yeah. good. It's yeah. really awesome. Yeah. So it's really cool. Uh, oh, there's 
Sarah. Sarah. She didn't I couldn't that. help it. <laughs> Off the visit. Two authors. My mouth is mine. It was great, though. I mean, I only got to see a little bit of it, but the kids seemed to be the very. The kids were terrific. Engaged. They had they had great questions, and it was really yeah. fun. So we appreciate. That's your great. Support. What did you talk about, Sarah? Uh, just about my kids' books and oh, how, nice. you know, how I became a writer and nice. yeah. how I. They love that stuff. They, yeah. yeah, and, and I always read like to a talk, little. I read from yeah. my new book a little bit, and yeah. um, I always like to talk about like ma how many mistakes I've made and how <laughs> yeah. you know my first drafts are terrible and gives you know, them you know, some hope, you know, right? And, yeah, and they, the kid, they they always respond to that. I find so. That's good. <laughs> and then they ask questions. Right. That's great. It was fun. Oh, oh, there's Nikki. Oh. Um, <laughs> we, we did, we had um, a little intentional today. volunteer <laughs> assembly. Well, they, they participated in our school a lot, <laughs> which was great. We had actually a pretty good turnout of volunteers and, and nice. wanted them to feel appreciated, which the kids helped um, make cards, and there was a song, and it was great. Um, and today, this is very out of focus, but um, we had our Memorial Day assembly. I heard Heidi that was really good too. Heidi um, organizes that. There was no flag burning. I just want you to know, it came up, good. and I said absolutely not. We've been instructed we cannot. That was a tradition. Somebody, oh, the, oh, to get to get yes. rid of the old yeah. the flags. I had no right. idea last year, but yeah. they that's yeah. Um, but <coughs> to we retire did not do that this them. year. Yeah. yeah. Did we um, find a new way to retire them? Or we don't. I don't know what they did actually. I'll ask Heidi. Um, and these are just com kind of uh, the other updates. Um, SBAC testing just about complete. We had a, a student absent or a couple students that need to finish, but overall it's done. I will say um, there is there are questions on how to get our older students to take it more seriously. Yeah. Some kids just go in and literally we had a student done in less than six minutes. Six minutes. And they, they were just, uh, yeah, they Which were just, means you're not even reading. You're not even reading. You're right. just going just click on. <coughs> So the staff struggles with that. How do you, you know? Right. And we've, we've talked about it. We share what the results are used for. I mean, but some kids just, for them, it's a test that they do not buy into. Yeah. So I don't know if you find that across the SU, David, mm -hmm. or? Yeah, it is. I just feel like okay. there's some kids. For some just reason, not this leave. year more than others, I think. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't either. But yeah. Something we can debrief it, maybe at our retreat. Yeah. It, it did seem weird. Yeah. Um, kids are um, finishing up their passion projects. We have two. I emailed you about the pennies for veterans one. One of the students that was part of their project just wanted it to be done before Memorial Day. And then we're there are three students working together, and they're planning a 5K for cancer. Oh. And it will take place um, June 6th or 7th. I can't remember the date. <coughs> but they're coordinating. They're, they're, um, they're emailing me. And I'm saying, oh, you need to email this person. This is part of the learning process for them. Mm -hmm. Like, If you need Mr. Howe to set up cones, then you have to go to Mr. Howe and talk to him mm -hmm. <laughs> or email him. So. <laughs> so it's exciting to watch them. And then they're doing um, a morning exhibition of learning on June 10th. And there was a question that came up because they originally wanted to do an evening exhibition and what they were hearing from kids and I heard so I know it you know really they were getting pushback from the kids saying we don't have to come back at night and so do they <laughs> that's my question for you can you force them to come to do the I mean my instincts say no but I mean they there were enough kids that said I'm not coming back at night to, to share my project really? that yeah that they that's interesting yeah they changed it to um, during the school day which also I mean the other reason is then everybody can participate right some kids in the evening can't come because oh. uh, it's out of their own so they their shifted hands. it to the morning yeah they're gonna do it I mean but going forward they want to continue this we, I, I, we want the kids to want to be here right. to share their learning so how mm -hmm. do we <clears throat> make that happen. Well, yeah. I think the better we get at, you know, yeah. implementing it and engaging kids, the more improvements we make, the more it'll be a part of the culture, the more kids It'll will want to do it and it. be invested yeah. in it. I think yeah. it's just a... Plus, you talked about tying it to time. 
think we it's did. the learning expectation. Yeah. So if it's and tied to learning expectations, maybe if they is that, that part was of their part grade? Of it was, you know, the presentation part. Yeah, you have to present. You know that that's just part of the project. Mm. It's complicated, though. Is it, it is like it, like at Windsor where they do the capstone presentations? Has that become enough a part of the culture that parents and families just? come because it's yeah expected. it's during the day and, the, and they come oh it's during the day okay yeah. so yeah. so that's they, interesting yeah <coughs> but they invite them you know to come right. and they come you know right during the school day but it's during, during the school, the school day. day yeah okay so hmm. good to know i'm just curious yeah. i mean they mm -hmm. intended to do something at night to begin with but right. so when when is it going to be so Sign they're motion. creating fly right now it's june 10th i think it's it's, which is a Monday of that last yeah. it's, uh, it's like 8 to 10, I think. Eight they'll, they'll put, they're Monday, putting think. something out. Is yeah. it? No. The 10th? The 10th is, the 10th is a, a Wednesday, month. Isn't it? No, it's, no, a, it's Monday. a Monday. Is it a Monday? on the 13th, okay. which is a yeah. Thursday. Okay, yeah. Okay. So you'll get that out once they settle it? Yeah, Sarah I'd love, was... I'd love to come to Okay, those Sarah was working on the flyer. Okay. Um, she said she'd have it ready by tomorrow. She's their team leader. Yeah. So, um, yeah. That's great. And you know, there it's interesting. There's going to be a range, and I said that's part of the process. Yeah. Some kids have really put a lot of effort into it. We have one uh, group of kids, mostly one, two. I think they're working together. They're they've prepared a whole day of teaching on climate change. Oh yeah, this was that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. yeah, and planned the lessons, Jeez, and really. the teachers are like. Have directions on what the stations they're running. <laughs> <laughs> pretty awesome. That's awesome. I think that's awesome. so great. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Good um, yeah. So um, we went over the schedule. It's just about we've got a few tweaks to make, but it's pretty much done. And then um, I'll give you the hiring update in a second. Just the last thing on the list. They they're going on their trip tomorrow, and they're very excited. And Alyssa McDermott, the class advisor, has worked really hard, and she's super nervous but she's got a lot of support and she came in my office oh, like five times a day she's like okay it's as it's as, it, it's as prepared as it's gonna get i can't i was like it's gonna be fine <laughs> so they're looking forward to it they're going overnight you guys knew that right yeah. lake george oh, really? and camping yeah doing a boat ride on mm -hmm. lake george and hopefully yeah. the weather's gonna cooperate and it's gonna be fun <laughs> So we'll say it's going to be what it's going to be. Yeah. Um, so hiring update. Um, so we have been working. Uh, clearly, there are some staff leaving. So we're looking at it as, as an opportunity. Change is good. Um, we um, last year when we did the library renovation, um, Tina approached Tina Skihan approached us about the position and um, she wasn't she ended up not going for it last year. But this year, we talked again, and, <coughs> and I am actually thrilled to announce that she is working to get a provisional. Mm. Diane might know more about that to be the library media specialist. Tina, Tina. And I are meeting on Thursday. On yeah. Thursday, yeah. but right. she is gung ho. She is excited. I think she has a vision for library and STEAM and how that can work together to excite right. kids about reading, <coughs> and, um, connecting books. So um, yeah, we were. Really excited that she's. <coughs> I mean, it's going to take awesome. work. She's got six classes to take. Mm -hmm. um, she wants to do it. Yep. She's excited about it. So that's great. <laughs> yeah, we're very it excited. Is. That's really cool. She'll be um, so on that, um, we had a, a middle school math teacher who wants to go back to elementary and teach third grade. So we're going to make that happen. <laughs> it's where he yeah. wants to go back to his roots. <laughs> Change in the air. Yeah. <clears throat> I think, you know, sometimes it's just what you need to mm -hmm. energize you and, you know, bring your passion That's back. Great. So, yeah. Um, so, we are interviewing for art. We actually offered the position today to a very strong candidate, and I haven't, I left a message, so I haven't, can't announce the name. Um, same for PE. We offered the job today to, um, we found a strong candidate. Yeah, we did. We just keep our fingers crossed. That <laughs> yeah, he is not. Nobody else either. found him as well. He's, okay. he's. I did speak to him tonight. He's going to talk to his wife and get back to me. <clears throat> so we found the male. Yeah. And it's a male. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and that is, the, you know, part of it is it's a very competitive season right now. It this is, is when the hiring yeah. is going on. Yeah. Yeah. So. 
keeping her fingers crossed on that okay. one. Um, social studies, we started interviewing strong candidates. Um, so Several we should, um, we have some interviews Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just posted the math. Mm -hmm. And I haven't posted Amy's because I just, just got it today. Yep. But we were actually, we did a lot of interviewing Friday and we had some really, really good applicants. So that's cool. Yeah, it's good to hear. Great. Yeah. Yep. So I'll that's keep really you posted. Exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It is exciting. Mm -hmm. New schedule, new staff. I know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah. It's exciting. It's been, it is exciting. Except a Spanish teacher already? Yeah. Yeah, we did it the last meeting. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So that's where we're at. Any questions or comments? Well, you guys knew Janine's moving to K-5. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, I think, um, I'm going to say Janine is very excited about the change. She seems to be. Awesome. Mr. Pope is really excited. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking it's so fun. He's so fun to have together. together. Pogue and Pogue. Pogue and Pogue. Pogue and Pogue. Like a team. Yeah. yeah. That'd be a great team. It really yeah. will. I, it's it's really fun. Somebody it's should really call cool. the Valley News, really. I know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. It's true. Right. That is a story waiting to happen. That's a story. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, that, twins yeah you're teaching. right. That's right. Twins teaching third That kids. is a story waiting to happen. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> come on. Yeah. We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Put us on the map. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, they're both, they're actually both really excited. And I think they'll work well together and they'll complement each other. So. so that's that's it for me. That's awesome. Um, Thank you. <coughs> You're very yeah. welcome. Um, I think we don't need an executive yeah, session today. No, Holy and our geez. next agenda I know, right? is <laughs> really the retreat agenda, and which the, we did. Right, we've got the retreat yep. agenda. Mm -hmm. um, so we're good. We want to, the retreat is in July. July. Um, so first. Mm, first, right, yeah. Do, I just want to get a sense for how people feel about uh, another July meeting. We usually take it off, and I'm happy to take it off. Because we'll also be meeting for the forum, so if, if something came up, we could have a quick executive session. Wait, 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 we're not meeting in June? What's the June? Uh, uh, no, we're, we couldn't find a time. We couldn't find that one. Yeah. Um, but that's locked in now, right? The first is locked in. The first we'll is locked in. Lock in the other day. We could meet after the retreat if we needed to. If we to. hadn't. Yeah. If we had to, right? Yeah. Um, so I just want to make sure that everybody's okay with that schedule. So we'll meet July 1st. Retreat. At the retreat. Right. Yep. Yep. And then we won't meet again until we're the August 19th. August 19th. Well, we have the, the police, the forum. Well, right. right. Yeah, right. yeah. No, but as a, we won't have an official board meeting. Yeah. So, um, I mean, I guess it, that's, there's a question about is that soon enough if some decision has to be made? Um, um, right. Right after the <coughs> forum. Right. If, we do need to meet after the forum. If there's yeah. some. Well, it's what strikes <coughs> me before that is how, why are we, uh, excuse me, um, are we going to spend our retreat getting ready for the forum? because it's the next week and we feel like we have to and not retreating. Um, I think, I, I don't know that getting ready for the forum is gonna take okay. that much time. Yeah. Um, we could say 30 minutes is yeah. all we're giving it. Yeah, and if we need more, we'll have to meet later. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. 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 I, yeah, I, I okay. don't think. They sometimes get permission to hide. Um, because I don't think it's going to be like our other forum was. Um, is some of the retreat work, I'm just thinking about our past retreats. I mean, I'm thrilled that we're going forward with um, at, at 21. 21. Right. Right. And will some of that work inform our next steps as well? Yeah. I think it will. I would think I so. I think it will. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so... Because that will be another forum in the fall that, right. Right. that they'll lead, right? Which right. will get even more information so, and back. I'm sorry, what was it you were saying about 21? And oh yeah, you missed that. Right. I was oh, sick you for the retreat. Okay, so, so yeah. yes, you really did miss it. I mean, I can I can read the minutes and no, get caught up, we can so. no, we should tell you about it. Um, so 
and you guys can probably tell her better, but um, we had a presentation. Yeah, they went to the um, SU admin Team. leadership group, um, went to a presentation, um, and ended up uh, hiring or well, wanting to hire wanting to hire a company called um, it's called Patel for Patel Kids. Um, Right. Uh, they do portrait of but a it's graduate. Por yeah, it's portrait yeah. of a graduate. Mm -hmm. The group is, it's Patel Kids is the big umbrella organization. Right. Ed Leader 21 is the the group that essentially leads <coughs> communities in vi you know, sort of that visioning, visioning and strategic work. planning work. And they use the portrait of a graduate where you kind of outline what you want your, your students, your to, students have. to okay. have when they <coughs> enter the 21st century. Yep. Uh, uh, world so so they come in they facilitate the forums they have a whole template and work they have letters that you know they have templates for letters that go out to communities and ways to inform the communities and ways to encourage people to come mm -hmm. to the forums and it's not it's not cheap but it's in, it's not we I've seen worse too and if we all split it the cost will be you know probably in the you know, three to four thousand dollar range tops. So so total. So forums. total. Yeah. That's at every school. So in in every district there'll be forums, but there's also all of those forums feed okay. the SE yeah. mission. Okay. Um, and the, and, and then the local districts spin off of that pretty much. Right. right. I, I and I ask this sort of in a devil's advocate way. It sounds very cool to me. It, it seems like there's maybe some fatigue uh, on the part of. Uh, some staff and mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, you know, initiative fatigue is, is the term mm -hmm. that, that I've heard being used, and we we don't. I just want to make sure that we're not sort of lay. You know, I think sometimes when laying another layer on, laying another yeah. layer, and mm -hmm. and people feel like there's a lot of talking and a lot of process, and that doesn't actually lead to this. The way that I interpreted the presentation yeah. actually made me really excited from that front okay. because it felt like it really was um, a way of bringing, because right now I feel like all these initiatives are going off like spider legs yep. and it's kind of a way of tying up the legs okay. um, and, and that's kind of how it felt to me and I think yep. you guys are nodding your heads. Yeah, um, that's, that's and so it really felt like through these forums you figure out which leg you kind of want to lead yep. and which legs are following, but you get all the legs pointed in the right direction because I don't feel like they are right now. That's a good way of saying <laughs> it, yeah. And what I got out of it, and to add more illustration, is the the process is informed by their, um, at Leader 21 or Battelle's process of creating the portrait of a student. Please correct me if I'm wrong, you administrators, but um, it a lot, it's a community process that allows, can be um, overlaid at the, at the K through eight school like, our, like we operate or a Windsor schools environment where there's a K through 12. And so whatever your graduate is. Yeah, that's what you you're can going to yeah. right. right. yeah. yeah. Through this visioning yeah. process, you can picture that. Yeah. But I think that's a good, I think Sarah's point is a good down. point though because we, We've gotten that feedback too. As we a, have, as an for sure. Team. We feel it. Every yeah. Day. Yeah. And we <laughs> get it at the negotiations. And it's not just the initiatives, but it's the initiatives packed on top of, you know, some fairly difficult, you know, families and kids that we're yeah. working with mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And it, fatigue is a good word to. It's a good word to use. I think people are just feeling a little tired, you know. Yeah. But I think this, you know, I think this may. I think this be a way to energize and yeah, and, and then again yeah. concentrate. Right. Some of you know, that work. Yeah, so we're not just all over the place. I, I agree with that. It also kind of, I think, provides more of a framework to show how all those initiatives do right. intertwine. And, um, and the other point, too, is that right now, when we talk about the kinds of learning that was just described in that schedule, it look, sometimes it looks to staff like that's our, our mm -hmm. ideas, mm -hmm. whereas Battelle, what they say is that if you can get that community formed together and they can really, you know. Help direct that. Help direct what they expect for a 21st century mm -hmm. learner, you know, then essentially, you know, you can very professionally say, this is, this isn't our initiative or the right. board. This is the community, this, <coughs> this is, is what, what the, the community, community wants, wants. Yeah. you know, and we just got to figure that out gently how to, yeah. how to get there. And I think that, I think that's going to be to our favor, basically. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And that's an awesome, um, not tool because we're not 
but a, pro a process that um, brings real, I think, relevance for the community. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think the, always the, a board is attempting to really hear from the community. Mm -hmm. And so and that's probably one of our biggest challenges. And so mm -hmm. um, some help there. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. it's been yeah. couched. I was at the SU retreat as more help for you folks. But I see it as big help for mm -hmm. folks on the over at this part of the table too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So thank you for explaining. Yeah, it's and a really I'll cool. go and I'll, re I'll read the minutes. You can read the minutes. Yeah. 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 Did, probably did Angie share that. the presentation? Because that I mean the exercise that we went through at our tables. Right. Was the pretty powerful? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so we I'll went through. See if I can we see actually that. went through that process at yeah, the retreat. Quickly, yeah. Yeah. We went through a quick version of the process. Quick, quick version. Of to, what a so graduate knew looks like. How yeah, it felt. Yeah. Very quick yeah. version. What yeah. the questions might be that you'd ask. Yeah. Oh, neat. Okay. I'll check you, it out. You showed. Yeah, it, it, it very quickly highlighted. Yeah. You know, we had an older version of this this video yeah. that talks about what the expectations are and. You know what's changing mm -hmm. rapidly in 2018 or 12. Uh, that that was 2012. But they have an updated version. Yeah, it's pretty pretty fascinating. <coughs> so that's where right now I feel like if we have a radar list, um, yeah, which I think is also I don't know I I don't like is visioning things where you're looking out five years. It's like. It's too far, know. as we learned. In that yeah, presentation. yeah. I mean, if we've got our yeah, radar maybe. list of like, you know, the, right, like these things are important to us. Yep. Let's make sure we don't drop any of these balls and yep. keep moving them forward. Yeah. No, I think I, I I think that's a probably a good combination. You know, yeah. Sort of short term and long term. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm ready to adjourn this meeting. Yeah. <laughs> so, right. Um, do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Second. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. Heard this. that. And we have consensus on this. I, I, I would imagine there's all consensus. Okay. <laughs> That's consensus. Thanks, Beth. We'll, I'll talk we'll to you talk later. Bye, Beth. <laughs>